All right, what's up, everybody? We are back here on another episode of the We Don't Smoke the Same podcast. Are we? Are we up, right? Yeah, we're good. Yeah, they're cool because I don't see it on the screen. Oh, there we go. I see. Well, let's, there you go. But uh, yeah, man, sorry about that, everybody. It took us a while. Uh, you. you guys know. You. you guys know the the title of the stream is you know dedicated to Xavier. We're late because of Xavier, but not really though. Uh, this this is to make up for the the episode that we missed on Saturday. You know, Saturday I spent a lot of time catching up on regular shit. You know, I had to catch up on. You know, we just got sometimes you just got to take a day off, bro. You needed the day off, bro. You had quite the adventure. I had a great adventure. Joining me is uh, Xavier, bro. What's up, Xavier? What's up, dog? For once, I had a pretty good reason for fucking being late, right? Yeah, so, you did. Did, I, did a smoke show walk in the room? Huh? Smoke show walk in the room. Smoke show. Yeah, I had to walk this girl out there with that. We we. Oh, you can't let her walk out there. Bro. Exactly, you know downtown. See, so the homie just got stabbed. I can't let this there's fine a higher girl chance, walk out there. There's a higher there. chance of somebody harassing you out here than prison. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah, 100 percent. Straight up, bro, with all the homeless and shit, bro. This will just be harassing people and shit. Well, yeah. So what'd you do? Nothing. Head out to Palm Springs, little vacay, yeah. little quick little vacay. Yeah. My last one was what? New Year's, remember? Christmas. Oh yeah, when you that was could. the last one. Yeah, I went when out went to, Vegas. to Vegas. Right? Yeah, I went out there. I needed another another little one of those. Went out to Palm Springs, little Coachella action. It was hot as fuck. Old people shit. Took my dog with me. Yeah. Bam bam. Yeah. Yeah. It's I, fun. You need one of those. A bulldog. Nah, you need to go get out and like. But but I really went out and I like I didn't text. Yeah. I didn't post shit, which is rare, rare for me, dude. I didn't post nothing on Tinfoil Hat. I didn't post nothing. We don't smoke the same. I didn't post nothing on my page. I didn't repost. I was just. Kind of that, that Sam Tripley thing, like when you go out of town and just get out. I was thinking about doing that, but I'm planning it for 420. 420. Wait, but that's not the... <clears> as, well, as a stoner, you don't want to fucking... <laughs> well, I'm not going to go to like a 420 event. I'm going to go to a, it's a beer release in uh, Las Vegas. So I'm going to just go ahead and uh, head on over to Vegas. Just by yourself? It lands on a Thursday, doesn't it? You're not going not gonna to be able to smoke the same thing, maybe? I mean, we. If, I'm gonna ask him see if we could set up a broadcast from over there. That'd be dope. That'd be hard. Yeah, at Just the saying. brewery. At the brewery, maybe yeah. I could ask him. Maybe we could do that. Maybe Zombie Brewery and Indie Craft Brewery. Can we make it happen? I'm gonna go ahead and ask him. This is something that we just. We just thought of right now. I know I'm supposed to be out there at Las Vegas, but I really do want to take a little break. You know. Las Vegas sounds fun right now. Is it? Is it back? Back yeah, and open back. mask? No yeah. mask. What's, nah, the, what's the protocol? Have to wear a mask and shit. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not, nah, dude. I. Arizona's all open. Oh wait, no. Uh, you're talking about um, Vegas? Actually, Vegas. Yeah. Vegas. You you don't have to everywhere. From no. what I know, I don't think you have to wear it. I think they're very open about it. That's the way it should be. Yeah. So, I don't know. When's the last Las Vegas you went to? I've never been to one, and I've seen all like Las Vegas was the last time I went to Vegas. So so what? Two right, years when's ago? the last time I went to Vegas? Like a year and a half ago. You were there. About three, maybe. Not maybe it's less nah, than that. Less than that for sure. Yeah. Well, I don't remember, man. Three years? I want to say, no, nah, it's been like a year and a half at most. I can't go without Vegas for that long, dog. I, I really used to. But I really can't, dog. I used to really fucking, um, you know, like going out there and getting fucked up a lot, but man, but the, the, the older I got, the longer the recovery took. You know, it takes. Just don't go as hard, though, but I just need it's to go. It's hard, to, though, fool, you know? I yeah, know. It's, it's a bitch. You're like. You're like, why do I want to walk around the <laughs> casino when there's more fucking drugs in the room? <laughs> you paid hundred bucks for a fucking to go see a fucking an artist, and all you want to do is go back to the hotel. Go back to the you hotel. Know how, to that's when you drugs. know you have yeah. a fucking problem when you fucking. That just makes you feel bad when it's all over, and then you're like, "Fuck, I could have been having fun no, in dead. the casino, yeah. but I was out there doing drugs." Yeah, at the pasta dog. Yeah, we do need to definitely do it, and um. Let me see. Uh, what is it? Joining us as well, too. Uh, the one and only backed by popular demand, Will. What's up, Will? What's up? He's on. Just uh, DJ Will J here. Uh, work on my album every every week or so. <laughs> work on a beat tournament. Uh, entering a beat tournament this week. A beat tournament? Yeah. Usually I play poker tournaments, but those aren't really running right now. So Like in-person you know. poker tournaments? Yeah, yeah, that's what you're talking about, Vegas, and then yeah. I've, been, I've been waiting, dying to go back to Vegas, but, uh, yeah, just work on beats, enjoying the nice weather, California weather, and... <laughs> nice. Man. So, what's up, what is it, um, do you actually, you used to go out there and play poker tournaments? Yeah, in Vegas, uh, I've won a couple of poker tournaments. Is it true, Xavier? Yeah. I've witnessed it. 
Oh, yeah. Dog, believe it or not, I didn't think this motherfucking idiot, the guy that arrives on the short bus, would win anything, dog. Nah, he's a fucking, he's been, uh, nah, so I you know. for first place only. He really does. He, he, okay, so I don't know if you know about poker. Yeah, he's, my friends like, have an addiction it, to it. You can, so once you get to the final table, you can split the pot. Like, between the house and you? Be, no, between everybody at the table. Okay. So, like, let's say it's uh, six people at the table, and if everybody agrees that we're just going to split the pot, that means everyone just makes... Get to peace. Get to peace. Yeah. Will's not that guy. He's ride or die. Either I take the whole fucking prize or no one does it. And they hate him because there's, everyone has to agree. Yeah. Will, Will, either I'm either on the champ, either I take the prize or no one takes the prize. And I've seen it where they, this one time he, he went all out. Got first place. Where was it? Morongo? Where, where? No, they, 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 they get angry, dude. They're like, I hope your dog dies. Yeah. I got I to gotta wake up tomorrow. I got kids to feed. For real, dude? Because yeah. you're not... Sp- okay, it's $10,000. First place get... Okay, so let's say we got $10,000 for the for the jackpot, right? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> it's not $10,000 for for the first place. It's literally $1,000 for ninth place. Then eighth gate's place, 1500 And then it gets ro- rolled down. But first place always yeah. gets the most. Will doesn't want to do that. Damn. Will wants the whole thing. No, when I play when I play tournaments and I show up to the tournament arena, uh, and I I put down my money. Uh, at this point, you know I'll, I'll really play for first place, and then yeah, I go. I've I've, I've won tournaments in Vegas Fuck at yeah. the Venetian at the Wing What's, Casino. Which one's the one you won that I personally saw when I went to go pick you up? And that was at the bicycle. At the bicycle casino. casino. When the bicycle casino got a tournament and he was pretty stoked. Where we go after? Did we, the strip we, club? Didn't re- we didn't really do anything. We, no, special. you. What's the biggest tournament uh, prize you ever won? I would say like basically twenty thousand dollars first place prize in one day. What did nice. you do right after that? You went to a strip club. No, I mean don't don't, don't lie, bro. He's such a liar. He's like I made the strip uh, club uh, girl leave work and I paid her. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I always have a list of things I do when I have extra money. Like, okay, get this kind of steak, or you know, get this kind of cheese. <laughs> okay, hold on. So this kind of wine. You have whatever, a fuck. You, you know. have a bucket list <laughs> of uh. When you're up, well, when you're up, you're up. You know. But... <laughs> when you're up, you're up. <laughs> okay, so like, explain to what's this list like, Will? Like, what's this list of, uh, hey, I'm Will, I just won 20 grand at a bicycle uh, casino. What what are you? What does your list consist of? Top five things. New socks. I like new <laughs> socks, fresh socks. Just that's your thing? And you want new socks? Nike socks. What kind of Nike you want? White or black? Ralph Lauren. White, white. White, all right. Yeah, yeah. Bleach them, like to bleach the socks. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know. I just buy new things. It, it, but it feels good to win. I play, I play to win. I play... You know, it's like chess. It's like heads up chess. When you play someone heads up chess, one person's better than the other person. One person makes a mistake, and you know, it's just a skill game. <laughs> but the money, the money is awesome too. And then Vegas is just everything's right there. You know, everything. you could win a tournament. I could win a tournament and walk across the street and go to strip club or you know. So did you go to the strip club right after that? Yeah. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Straight to the VIP. There's, there's always someone that gets me. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Okay. Yeah. Right, he's honest. I salute, salute that. Yeah, yeah. He's Round talking. Yeah, but he's talking about all the good shit, dog. I'm his friend. I've, I've been there where he's been up 10k, <laughs> up 10k, and loses it all. Damn. You know how mad he is. Almost wants to cry. Wants to. F- <gasps> up 10k. Imagine being up 10k, dude, and you just lose it all. How, yeah. how what, all right, so you're up 10K, you lost it all. What, what 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 was that like? I mean, you're telling me about your wins. You're buying some fancy socks. Not even fancy <laughs> socks, bro. I was like, I would have at least bought, like, some expensive-ass shit. You know what I mean? I would have bought, like, I don't know. Like, I, I don't know, bro. I don't know I don't know what expensive Ralph, socks are like. Ralph Lauren socks? Not. Yeah, I mean, those are okay. But, you know, I know there's one up. Like, I would have got some. They deep. saw that at Ross, Doc. Step I, your game up. I would have got, I I got some Dior. You know what I mean? Yeah, some, some, sh- some Balenciaga yeah, socks. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Come on, bro. You'll be... Yeah, you got this fucking Louis bag. He's wearing, He's got this in here, and he says he yeah, only I wants buy, Nike I bags. I buy stuff like that, too, but that's what I'm saying. You also lose. Is this real, Will? Is this real, Will? Big key of poker. Is this real? Well. That's, that's real, yeah. That's All right. 100%. It smells real. Eating Japanese cows. How does it smell, dog? It smells like Japanese I probably shouldn't have smelled Japanese it, to be honest with you. Cow hide. Probably shouldn't have smelled that. <laughs> Yeah. That's... Uh, do you own anything like that? 
Yeah, I have certain things. Like I, no, I know you have heady shit. Like, I know you have expensive no, shit. I, I don't mean like that. But, like, do you have, like, Louis? Yeah, and, I have like, certain things that, I that like, I. it's very rare when I like it. Like, the last thing I bought um, was this uh, Versace backpack. Okay. <coughs> which it had this, like, this lion on it or some shit like that. It had the little metal on there. And I, I already take it out, like, if I'm, like. If I if I'm go, if I'm in Vegas or something like that, that's the backpack I take to Vegas because oh, okay. it's all leather. Yeah, I have you know I, like everything I'm gonna put in there is just like you know I'm I'm trying to you know maintain it and shit. Yeah. You know it's like high end and shit. And let me see, I have a, you know I have a wallet, little one wallet that like in case like same thing when I go to Vegas. You know I you have got my, the I have you my got Rolex. the heady lighters. Yeah, I have the heady lighters. You got the heady lighters. Yeah. I like those. Those are hard. I have my Rolex. Um, yeah, Rolex is key. Yeah, that should. That, I don't wear the how, watch. Well, how often do you? Uh, yeah, why, why? I'm not gonna lie. If I had a rolling, I okay. It'll be a, at least once a week type of situation here's the thing, with yeah. me, dog. Here's the thing. I've bro. never seen you wear it once. Yeah, because I usually wear it when, because I used to wear it all the time, bro. And then when you have to maintain it, that's the fucking thing, bro. I would wear it like almost like a daily thing, and then it gets fucking scratched up everywhere. It's fucking gold. No, of course, yeah. You know, you got the glass, and then you have to keep taking it. And it's expensive. It's like it's like doing maintenance on. The, How much is the maintenance on, on a Rolex? I really don't know. I like really... if you want to get the the full fucking thing, and you're getting on a hookup, you be like five bills. Like just like if you want to get it polished, you know, like five you, bills. <laughs> yeah, and then you got to get it winded up. That's and, what my watch on me is worth right now. Yeah, no, the the watch itself. Oh, the, I know, I know. We're talking like hey, No, no, I know, I know how much got, it is, but yeah. just to clean it, yeah. damn. Yeah, so I just I, forget how I just forget having expensive thing also. I have, make, yeah. Yeah, it's like a BMW. It's not only just owning it; it's oh, maintaining you think I it. Only, oh, you think I don't drive that car a lot? I yeah, like you to miles. Yeah, good point. You like to you like to maintain these things. Like I have a fucking what is it a a Louis belt? It's like, okay, man, you know, fucking. <sighs> What, mine, what is bro. it? Uh, and I don't wear this often. Family events. Yeah, fucking know. gotta go. Just, uh, go a nice dinner with my. Where girl. am I going tonight, dog? A strip. Going to strip club. Yeah. I gotta wear my Louis belt. I gotta let these yeah. bitches know there's some money in here. It's not. It's all. <laughs> in, it's all invested in the belt. But you gotta. You gotta <laughs> finesse, dog. You gotta finesse on these hoes. Will's got his. He's going to strip club with me too. These bitches gonna know we got money tonight. Yeah. Not got, a lot, but. He got the, the the man purse. Yeah, George Press stories birthday bash. If yeah, you're in fucking. Big, if you're in Staten. And you know what TJ Showgirls is at, and you're trying to have a fucking good time? Show up. Yeah, bro. It's going to be popping. Take this time to give a big shout out to George Perez. Yeah, George Happy Perez. birthday, George Perez. George Perez stories. Happy uh, birthday. Salute to you, man. Uh, thank you so much for all the good times. And hope you have a good time there today, man. I'm, I'm being responsible, and uh, I got to shoot tomorrow at 10. I've been up since fucking What are you six. shooting? What are you shooting? A uh, high and hungry. We got oh, him. shit. Yeah, Already? You just dropped the Knott's Berry Farm. Yeah. Knott's we, Berry Farm. Not say it, Will. Say it. Knott's Berry Farm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there it is. I have, to, I have to think about it because me, I want to say Knott's Berry Farm. I'm like, Knott's, he fucking created the berry, dude. It's this guy, Knott's. <laughs> created the berry. Hold on, this is true? You didn't and create the in, berry for this guy? In my mind, I'm like, you know, I'm like, this is E-Zone's Berry. It's not E-Zone's Berry Farm. Like, you know? <laughs> what? What the fuck? That, that's how, I don't know. It's a California. You guys put the fucking wrong... <laughs> emphasis on the wrong syllable sometimes. Okay, look, I'm Googling this. By the way, well, let me see it later. I'm Googling this, and it says the first one, what berry did the Knott's boy, create? The boysenberry, dude. He's not fucking lying, bro. Up. A round ding, of applause. Ding, 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 ding. Hold on. Hold on. Let me see it like, later, Will. He, like, genetically modified it? I, I, I did my research. Could he gen genetically modify it, or what are we talking about? He, he's not God. He didn't create it. So you're talking no, 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 about no, 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 spice no, 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 it, kind of like creating a wheat strain. I'll tell you right now, bro. Let me let this go. It's not that original. It's not that hey, we're original. Gonna fucking, hey, we're gonna fucking create a, 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 a little another segment that we just pre-recorded for you guys. Called you know how they have drunk history, fucking stone history, bro. We tell them random shit like this. Should tell fucking him. I'll fucking do it, bro. That should do it. Let yeah, I like watching historic shit. I told I told fools about the ocean the last Green Thumb episode. Fools are out there tagging me like, look for I recycle cans. What, what do you know about the ocean? Did you see conspiracy? Should fuck me up, dog. Just killing out there whales for no reason, bro. You barely knew, but you barely getting into that, dog. We was they been, dude. They we've been fucking fish up for a while. We've been fucking the ocean up for a cool minute. You haven't heard of the, those 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 uh coral reefs that are turning all white? Yeah, I was, mind mind blow, unbelievable the shit we do as human beings, dog. Yeah, but it's fucked up. But let me go ahead and tell you. So, Walter Marvin Knott, uh, what is it? Dance for that in eighty one. Was an American farmer who created the Knott's Berry Farm amusement park. <laughs> <laughs> and introduced the boysenberry and made Knott's Berry Farms boysenberry preservative. 
Oh, damn. So he actually fucking did, bro. I don't know how he actually created it. Let me see on Wikipedia, bro. It's just a black and blue berry. No, it's, I'm pretty sure it's <laughs> No, like it's not, bro. You got to make two berries fuck to create that shit, bro. Oh, it's like dude. weed, fool. Just like weed. Just like how you get, like, train wreck and you get the fucking berry. something else and you can fucking mix them together. I'm sure it's the, uh, the same thing, dog. He's still smoking fucking train wreck, all right? <laughs> Shut up. Oh. <laughs> I was like, that shit is like, I have not heard that shit in so long, bro. I watched Final Books Bros the other day. That's why you know how he says, and we got train wreck with so and so, and we mix them together in Hawaii, and it's the perfect mix. And it was one of those fucking type of moments where I was trying to be funny. You didn't get see, it. I'm trying to find this. Like, how did he do it? The did same he? way, fool. Guarantee you. He just got fun. these two berries horny, and he was. Well, how do you get weed? Will you get two fucking weed strains horny? No, you splice them together. I don't know what splicing put a means. In the dirt. <laughs> just <laughs> Google how to make boysenberry. Exactly. But this doesn't happen like that, bro. Everything fucking has a seed somewhere. Like let's just but, start with that. You know. Hey, that's that's another question. What came first, dog? Like, how did first of all, how do you get the seeds for the fruit, dog? You know how like who? Yeah. Well, yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, well, it's like the chicken and the egg. Who yeah, but who the fuck? Like, there has to be a seed. A fucking banana tree didn't just fucking appear. Like, they're, they're, who planted this shit? Who brought this seed over there? That's a whole other thing for everything else that grows. Nobody ever questioned that shit, huh? That's a fucking mind blown right there. How, co- how come nobody's asked question that, dog? Oh, it's kind of the same question, though. No, it's not, bro. It's like, have you ever wondered if, there, if, if a river drives up or dries up or a fucking lake dries up? And, and, like, there's nothing in there. All, all the fish die. And then all of a sudden, when it fucking rains again, the fucking shit's living there. I don't know where. Like, who brought those fish there? Poor, it's fucking called evolution, dog. You've never had a no, pool. But who the fuck? But a pool. Okay, you leave a pool and you just leave a pool. Eventually, there would be toads there. Like, little fucking... Tadpoles? Tadpoles. Eventually. And eventually, that tadpole will become a fucking frog. Just a matter of fucking evolution. Matter of time. I don't know how. Don't know how. I think that's the problem. If we figured it out, we don't know how. But that's pretty much how. We don't know what came first, though. Who who dropped? All right, so. I think a meteor. Meteor? meteor? That's like an alien theory. Like that. That's an alien yeah. theory. So what, like a fucking meteor came out from the sky, and it was like, I'm just going to nut seeds all over the earth. Mm. Yeah, like a meteor has those fish bones cool. you're talking about. So next it's time a meteor passes bones. out, I'm just going to crack that shit like a walnut. What do you have, bitch? Yeah. You could do you it. You get an alien in there. That shit could give you cancer, bro. You could die. <laughs> like, yeah, that shit could give you cancer. Nuclear nuclear power gives you cancer. Go. You don't think some alien shit give you cancer? I mean, you know, my, uh, when I was little, I used to, I used to really get you sound excited. Sound like Tommy, dog. Well, when I was little, bro, for real. <laughs> when I was fucking little, bro, I, I I used to think that the shit used to come from the sky. Like, you know, like I would be, I'd be like, oh, I hope one of these things lands like a rock, right? Because I would hope that shit for Spider Man would come out of there. <laughs> Do you know the fucking black shit? Yeah, yeah, the yeah, venom, venom, yeah. venom, venom. Yeah, bro, it's the symbiote shit. And I would have been like, oh, yeah, bro. But then imagine, I was like, I could have just got cancer, bro. Nah, you, you tripping, dog. Yeah, but to ba- this day, I still think microwaves give you cancer. I mean, you don't think so? Like, in a, I know, I mean, like, I know they're not, I just think, like, eventually, like, if you. Kicked it next to a fucking microwave every day. You, yeah, you'd catch something. Yeah, I mean, it's like, it's like your cell phone. Yeah. Cell phone, everybody's going to have a tumor here. You're going to have a size well, of that's a... that's why I, I've size, always... Size of a headphone real quick. You're going to think it's a pimple one day, you know, blackhead, disinfected, and then you're going to be like, hey, this blackhead got bigger. <laughs> and then you're going to be like, yeah, bro. Watch, bro. Tell, telling me I'm lying, bro. All right, so back to this... Back to this... Not, back to this... Not, berry farm. Not berry farm. It's delicious. So yeah, no. So let me tell you what happened, bro. Uh, but apparently, it's also marketing, I think. You know, the what? The whole thing. It's like it's like Walt Disney. No, nah, this is a real thing. He said, "I'm looking at the story on the on brainwashing." I'm looking at it. it. Says together, three men found Boysen's long forgotten berry plant in a ditch, covered in weeds without berries. Boysen said the plant was a cross between a red, what is it, a red raspberry, blackberry, and a loganberry. After secure, securing uh, permission from the new owners, Walter took the cuttings back to Buena Park and to plant and cultivate. Yeah, so apparently he made two fucking berries. Fuck. Three berries. It was a threesome. Three. It's yeah, three. That's a threesome, dog. That's pretty... Which one do you think was a dominant gene? Like these berries? Logan. Yeah, Logan. Logan's is pretty okay, dominant. It was like, bitch, I'll run this. Yeah, some fucking, it reminds me of Wolverine, you know, Logan. Like the Logan Berry, just yeah, fucking, fucking destroying shit. So what was just, just fucking just give plowing the other oh, berries. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. There's a <laughs> I saw this disturbing pictures of grapes. Uh, you know and what it said G is... rape, and there was like two two grapes raping each other. Oh, and that's I was just, fucking yeah, funny. That's and pretty I, clever. I, I was just like, dude. <laughs> I saved it though. 
<laughs> like, I was like, this. I was like, yes, I'm saving you, fam. <laughs> it was it was funny. I was like, these uh, fucking berries. What about uh, Venus Venus fly traps? You ever seen those? Bro, those shits die easily, bro. One time I was like, I had one. You own one? I had one before, yeah. yeah. How much you pay for something like that? Yeah, dude, you can find them at Home Depot for like fucking ten bucks. Oh, they're that cheap? Yeah, but the thing is that in order for them for you to make them prosper to something that like they move, you have to really create the environment for them. Like you really have to like care for these things, bro. Like that shit doesn't like they they move hella slow, bro. Like they're not like what you think unless it's like full grown where like that shit could easily. It ain't Jumanji. Yeah, it ain't Jumanji, bro. No, like, are the full grown ones Jumanji though? For one time I tried to help it yeah. out, I was like, let me put a few hormigas in this shit. For the hormigas just walked out. I was like, <laughs> you know how you know how slow you gotta be for hormigas to walk out. Yeah. Do they like look at you funny? Are they like, can you tell? Can you tell if if uh? Nah, they, they, don't, or whatever? they don't move, bro. Like they like they don't fucking move. Like you can't really uh. They just gotta hope. But what up? Even the big ones are sped up. Well, I don't. You know, know what I mean? Is is the f- raise the video? Can we get it? Can up? we pull I'll, a video? I'm researching my guys. Yeah. A video of a full grown like fe- Venus yeah. flytrap. What's, what's that movie? What's that movie with the uh, Jumanji? Jumanji. No, yeah. the, with the hair cutting or whatever, with the dentist and the plant. I don't know. You guys are too. Yo, too. what'd you think about? Oh little- shit, that shit could eat a lizard, bro. It's got to move quick, dog. That's got to be an instant snap. Yeah, right? Yeah, it has to be. Lizards are quick, dude. That's true. No, yeah, they're quick. Look at that. That's not that fast, dude. That's fast. No, that's, 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 cool. that's, 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 that's a time that's lapse. That's a time lapse, though. So that's a time lapse. That's what I'm yeah. saying. You can tell it's a time lapse. They're not that fast. I guess you could. these bugs could kick it in there like a real elite. Oh, oh no, that? Okay, that didn't look like a time lapse. You could just say that for you. Just cut that plant in half. Look, that's real. Okay, that's pretty real. Do your shit, dude. You got to take care of yours better. You, yeah. you, zone. you just sound like a piece of shit dad. I can't imagine how your kid would be if you're a fucking... A plant daddy? Fuck you, bitch. Dude, you just... Look. Yeah, that's that's in real time. That's that's legit. Yeah. He's on... Stop talking shit on those First things. of all, the, the, You didn't take care of yours right, look dude. Look up this fucking video. That's like, okay. That's hold. like you saying, oh, my Let's kid... Let's watch it again. Let's watch it again. Okay, you're a, you're a piece of shit, dog. Because let me tell you, <laughs> piece of shit. Yeah. You're the one who let your fucking yeah, plant die. Yeah, that's pretty quick, dude. Nah, you're a fucking piece of shit. Cause that's not the what it fucking looked like. There's a vi- <laughs> there's a video on YouTube called "Saving a Garbage Venus Flytrap," and that's the garbage Venus flytrap is the one I got at Home Depot. Oh, so you got a cheap one? Yeah, cause that's the only way I seen them. I was right, like, oh, right, this is cool. Right, I'm gonna right. try to save it. It's like you know, you're trying to I shelter they, pet. I thought they were all the same, dog. I don't know. I'm not like I, I wonder where can you buy the one of those? Like, there's no fucking uh, Paisa Nursery with Venus flytraps. <laughs> Hey, Copa, ¿cómo se esa planta? Se come las moscas. That shit's dangerous, too. Like, you walk in there and just start socking the plant. Like, fucking. (laughs) (laughs) We got a super chat. Or you just fucking spit in there. Like, (laughs) like it's a pussy or something. (laughs) Yeah. You like that? (laughs) You like that? (laughs) (laughs) It's just fucked up, dude. Oh, that's fucked up. (laughs) (laughs) All right, let's get into the super chat. Utah Hawk, two bucks. Did DJ Will J borrow Skinny Pablo's glue on stash? Ooh, that's a hard mustache. That's a creep mustache. We're going to strip club, dude. We, we're trying to state where's creepers, dude. I yeah. just try to combine, like, all the styles of Paul and Oates and, you know, <laughs> Funk Master Flex. <laughs> Yo, Ezon, what'd you think about fucking little, Oz, little Nas's little new shoes? Oh, bro. You not copping a pair? Hell no, bro. You wouldn't even wear a pair? Nah, if I gave you, if I gifted you a pair, I'm like, yo, he's nah. on. I got the plug. I'm from Tin Four Hat Podcast. Some satanic people came in say, inside and they said they got Antoine the plug on the little. People. Got they got the little Nas fucking shoes with a little bit of fucking human blood drop in it. You wouldn't. You're not wearing them. He got sued. Yeah, he got. sued. Oh, I know that. Yeah, I know Nike didn't make these. I'm just asking. You wouldn't wear a pair. Nah. 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 Too satanic for you. Yeah, it's a bit too much for me. Yeah? yeah. Right, I'm not asking. I know you wouldn't buy one. I'm just asking if you'd wear one. Like, I'm not into the dark magic, you know? No, I feel you. Yeah. Oh, well, the dark arts, it's a bit different than... They're a thousand bucks. He made 666 nah, he did, of them. No, he didn't, because fucking Nike said, everything you're making, we're suing you for it. Oh, shit. Nah, yeah, because Nike said, more. Nike got a lot of shit, like, out of it. They were just like, dude, you didn't even, like... That's crazy how you can buy something and you still not yours. He probably didn't let him know what what he was gonna do. Shouldn't it. have to. I mean, if I buy a pair of shoes, I think I should be able to do whatever the fuck I want with it. Even if I buy all six hundred and six hundred and sixty six of them, dog, I bought oh, I bought them. If I want to resell them for a million dollars and some idiots want to pay a million dollars for the shoe I bought for a hundred dollars and just painted it black and put my logo on it, I don't know how Nike should be able to sue you. I paid for these shoes. Yeah. You get what I mean? I paid for them. That's I, true. Yeah. I just don't understand how you can get in trouble for customizing shit. 
We do that shit all the time. It's like me buying a New Era hat and then putting, we don't smoke the same logo and then we make millions of dollars. Different. And New Era's like, that's, no, how is it they different? Own the, they own the trade, they, like, you know, like, trade, like, I guess a brand like New Era could be publicly bought like that or something like that or certain designs are out there. Like, when it's something that's custom like that, it's like they have the trade, they have, and it comes down to like trademark power, bro. Yeah, Tinker yeah. Hatfield. Yeah, like, people. Okay, okay, so, so then, long. so what I'm trying to say is like, does Nike get, picky on who they fucking sue because i go on instagram all the time and there's these custom fucking jordans custom nikes where they're different colors and so and so puts the nike uh kobe space on them sells them for a thousand bucks it's like they can do a season and no uh, one gives a, a season, fuck about they could that do a season assist with the whole brand at the end of the day because if that if that's not the initial agreement that's in paper you know what i mean because i'm pretty sure like that's it wasn't explained that way you know what i mean or maybe like they weren't really aware of the backlash that was supposed to happen they can go ahead and back out of it because they they are the ones that he's collabing with them so all i'm saying is like like, like they didn't reach out to him yeah he reached out no, to them all i'm saying like 100 if me and you went to los callejones and we find someone that has real nike shit and we yeah. buy the palette and we put we don't smoke the same on it and we fucking sell out make a lot of money can nike be like uh no we nike don't we can- don't smoke the same nigga. we don't even smoke at all at nike Nike can they actually sue us then? Nike could tell us, could, could tell us that based on what the on the reaction that we get to stop fucking doing it. Yeah, yeah, like they have that power because that still has their brand and there is no contract. Like they don't reach out to nobody. So at the end of so the day, so you have to be in, you have to anybody, be that big. You anybody, have to be that big. Anybody who they're doing business with, they reached out to and it's like we're the bigger fish, so we control everything. I'm just wondering. The only I, way yeah, you can do I it see... is if, like, I'm like, hey, Nike, you want to collab with me? And they're like, all right, cool. We're doing it with Flavors by E-Zone. I'm just bringing oh, this up. I look you want to get collab on Nike. That's why I'm bringing this there's, up. Though. There's ways around it. You could file through taxes as, like, a modifier or whatever. Etsy. Etsy is a good one. Yeah. But, Damn, but Xavier. You, you can't just Fuck, straight dude. up jack the here, whole here. Nike thing. And make a million dollars. Hey, drink it off the table, Xavier. Nah, dog. Drink it, drink it off the table. Go. Don't, how clean is this table? Don't make me, dog. Go, go, no. Do it like, do it like oh, Sidek Eddie with it. those strippers, pussy. Okay. <laughs> no, it's oh, nasty, bro. Oh, that's fucking nasty. Oh, this guy, this guy. Don't ask me to be like Sidek, dog. He fucking. That was nasty. That that fucking. Uh, better super chat me. All right, so <laughs> what have, what have we got? A uh, next super chat, right? Do we got? Uh, do we got any more? Yes, we do. Sidex still got more juice. Gary and Taylor, four ninety nine. What are some of y'all favorite shows when stoned and not? Also, I sported my we don't smoke the same khaki snapback today on my hike, only for the strong. Go ahead. Strong emoji. Bless up, no boof. We say that one more time. My bad, Ray. Oh, good. He wears the snapback on. Yeah, his. I heard the snapback. Thank you for rocking the snapback. And what was the? What was the beginning of it? What are some of y'all favorite shows when stoned and not? Okay, so I'll go first. Well, one of my favorite, uh, I've been watching uh, Queen of the South. That's a, as of lately, the English version. La Reina del Sur? Yeah. The, the oh, biggest, shit. I, uh, English. I did English, so I've been, I've been, I've been uh, watching that. I've also been watching, uh, hey, I stopped, finished watching Hey Arnold. I watched all the Rugrats again. Where, where are you watching this shit at? Uh, Hulu. And oh, I, Hulu's I'm got trying, the plug like that? I'm Damn. trying to find Doug. You find a bitch that got Hulu account now. Yeah, I'm trying to find Doug and some of these other ones, but uh, there's I'm very picky with some of those. And then, what else have I been fucking watching as a show? Oh, I started watching King of the Hill over again. Yeah. yeah. Oh. yeah. Damn. Oh. Yeah. I got to go with classic, classic, classic of South Park. South Park? You can never go wrong with South Park. But for, I don't know, but lately, where I live, there's cable now. So yeah. I've been really into Impractical Jokers. Ever see that show? Oh, with that little fat kid from fucking... Nah, uh, nah. And Practical Jokers where uh, Sal's in it. The comedian Sal Valcon or something like that. And they're in Practical Jokers and they just make jokes on people. It's on True TV. Ah, oh, fucking great, dude. I don't know if you've ever seen it. It's great. I can't even believe you've never heard of it. No. You pull a picture of it, maybe a picture will help out. Yeah, it's called... been around for a while. Dude. Right? Yeah, it's been around like for a long time. They're hilarious. Fools. So they just go up to people You're and they just... talking about those three fools? Four fools. Yeah, okay, yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, yeah, it's fucking great, dude. I don't know. My parents just got cable TV and it's just fucking oh, amazing, dude. I, just, I put it on as background these music. these four fools that look like they all collect Pokemon cards now? Definitely. <laughs> yeah. Definitely they all got Bitcoin. They yeah. all got Bitcoin. Yeah. They, they all got those Charizard. Right, right there. Fucking- Joe. Joe's my fucking favorite, dude. There's Sal. There's Murr. 
We need her junior. Bro, this, this show's good. No, no, no. I'm not talking shit on no, that. This show's really good, dude. For sure they it's go to Weenie Hut Junior though. They're like on season like twenty already. You know nothing goes to season twenty unless it's fucking South Look Park. They're all old and shit. Yeah, they're all old. That dude yeah. on the right looks like a fucking chick monk. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good show. This and then uh what else have I been watching? Hey fool, has anybody ever like you know, for example, like 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 I mean on a realistic note, bro, like if you're getting pranked like that. And I lose my fucking shit, right? Like, if I lose my shit and, like, I see some shit going down and I'm just like, man, fuck this. Bam! Just knock that fool out and just fucking start fighting fools. Like, what happens? You've never seen that shit happen? You've never seen scare tactics? Okay, like, you remember scare yeah, tactics? Yeah. That, they, someone's attacked people and you have the whole crew has to instantly be like, you're on a show. Damn, because, like, I would imagine, like, that, you, okay, like, that kid, that Muñeño kid. Muñeño. Yeah. Oh, duh. You've seen those like, videos? I love those like, kids. Okay, oh, you're punching but, that kid, no, right? No, like, for example, like, if, if, if like, I seen the video with the lotion shit, bro, I would, I would calmly walk up with something glass with my hand and probably bash it on that fool's head. Just off of anger, bro. I'd be like, you know what, dog? Muñeño, that shit. I haven't seen that Target, one. Ho. I don't think I've seen that one. He's like... But he, this kid, I know what you're talking about. He goes up to people and just yells, Muñeño, no, right this, in your this ear. This is one where, like, like, this is one where there's this, like, big black dude. And this fool's like... And this fool's like... <laughs> like, he bumps the cart. And then he gets the lotion. And he goes, like, pop, pop. Like, just hitting that shit. And it goes there when the guy's like, yo, what the fuck? And then the guy starts saying the Muñeño shit. And the guy starts running after him. I'm just like, bro. I know that one of these fools had to catch him and just, like... Cause just like somebody's gotta go like beast from the X Men and just start fucking like bam, yeah. bam. Cause out of out of anger, dog, like you could do some incredible shit. <laughs> like like I'm supposed to. You can't like you could usually very destructive, but if like and you, even and even then. If you, they're for sure gonna sue you because they have video of you literally beating their ass. Yeah, but you provoked you let, it. Doesn't matter. I don't think it fucking matters, dog. You know what? You know how it is in the go in in, in the legal place. We, I would fucking make sure that before I, I turn myself in, I would fucking be like, everybody, let's make this shit go viral. That when I come out, I got deals. I got three beers coming out. It's called the fucking oh. Muñeño Smash Owl. Do you <laughs> do you remember watching? Do you remember watching that uh, that chick that uh, some black chick that worked at Walmart that took some guy down? Like Sidek's daughter, this fool's walking out. Out, she's like a body security, and she takes down this guy. Oh yeah, she got money yeah. from. Uh, yeah, she got money. Were like, oh, she should be a linebacker. Or yeah, something. so she's she just look at Walmart. I don't know if she was working at Walmart, or not working at Walmart, but someone's trying to steal a PS5 or something, and they're trying to walk out the door, try to like shoplift, and she tackles these fools, and she fucking the the, N- the NFL for the women's hit her up, off a of fucking like roll star hip hop video. Damn. Just saying, like, damn, bitch, you can they tackle have an some NFL fool. For women? Whatever we call that. It's not NFL for the Lendre oh, one. You know what I'm talking about. crazy money on the GoFundMe sometimes. Hold, hold on. Is there, viral on the Facebook. is there an NFL for women? Yeah, it's called the Lendre one. It's not really like NFL. That's not really though. NFL, it though, It really bro. is, though. What's not real about it? Females are playing football, and that's I wanna it. I want to see a concussion. Dumb of them get concussions. You've never seen s- it? I want to see it. You've ever seen it? No. You know me. You're not. I'm, Will, you've seen one of those. Don't lie. What's that video? The Lendre football. Oh, yeah, yeah. I used to watch those all the time. Victoria. <laughs> no, Victoria. I told you so. I've seen Psycho Les was talking about, uh, what is it? Uh, Super Bowl. Like, dwarf fights. You ever seen that shit? Wait, like, dwarf like, fights? Yeah, like, fucking, like, it's like a dwarf USC. Like, may just be fucking fighting, dog. That's fucking funny, dog. I would fucking, I would. Do I they would, get little concussions? Probably. The minor concussions. <laughs> <laughs> Mini concussions. <laughs> <laughs> no, they just put a band-aid over her head. <laughs> you gonna be all right. <laughs> Well, they got no limbs, so they can't even do jujitsu. What are you choking out? Uh, now they're they're like boxing, dog. Oh, boxing. Yeah, like they're like fighting and shit. Like I don't know, like like Psycho Les was telling me about that shit. I was like, hey, no, I, I talked about it on the Green Thumb show. Like, imagine like they like what it, this would be the smartest shit, bro. Like if I be started my own real estate company and like I got a lot like this, but like I made mini houses, so, so it's catered it's catered to those fools. You know Dude, that's I mean? a fucking niche right there, dog. That's, that's a, a money that's, maker. That's a money maker, right, bro? Like, <laughs> like with on an apartment complex, you could fucking make it a six floor instead of a three regular floor because you'd be, you know, it'd be like. Wait up. It would, How weird would it be to get invited to like a little person's house? It would Everything's have, so short. The bathroom short. The sink short. It would have to be like a gated community, fool. Like you know what I mean? Like only like little short fools loud. Like you know. Yeah, but even you have you, your aunt's gonna visit, and not everyone's a short person. Just imagine spending the night there, and everything's so short. I want to take a selfie. Like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it would be. It's be regular. <laughs> it would be like that episode where they build Flanders the house. 
Yeah. He's like, here goes your master bedroom, but he could put his fucking eye through there. <laughs> nah, I don't know. I would, it, it, like, a two feet gate. <laughs> like, <laughs> why even have a gate? Oh, why even have a gate if it's a two feet gate? <laughs> they call it, like, the only dog allowed is wiener dog. <laughs> yeah, bro. Like, that would be the shit. That would be ill. I don't know, dog. Like that would probably be like the the bit the see the, like can they go to the can they go to the gym? Yeah, fool. They have to. I mean, I've seen I've seen a little short. I seen a little buff short fool. Yeah. Not only was it a trip, he was black. I was like, oh shit! I was like, this fool's fucking little buff black fool, dog. Like he was benching and squatting the whole thing. Nah, they can't bench the, the arms. The arms see, that's what yeah, I mean. Nah. You gotta make them their own. That's what I was yeah. talking about. <laughs> nah, like. He was doing one. Of, he was doing these like. You can give it to him. You can give it to him. <laughs> like, like he was doing the the regular ways, like just, <laughs> just like looking in front of the mirror, just like. I was just like, oh damn, I'm fucking. Dead. It was like, and you know what's crazy with that? When I used to go to that gym, the Big Show used to go to that gym, and one day I fucking saw that fool walk by, and the little fool was running on the treadmill, right? After he had running, I was just like, imagine. Up, you, 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 you stood next to the Big Show. As I was running on the treadmill, I seen him. How big is he? He's fucking huge, bro. Like, he could beat the shit out of anybody in this room, bro. <laughs> like, yeah? yeah? Is he like three Eddies? Not, yeah, but like healthy Eddies. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, I'm going to live a long time, Eddies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Like, it's, it's, it, that fool, I mean, he, I saw him, like, he's pick, still alive? Yeah, what the fuck? He has a show on Netflix, bro. Like a kid show. I like, didn't know. With his with his daughters or whatever the fuck it is. Oh, that's cool. He's a dad and no, shit. That's dope. That's dope. No, I'm not hating. When his I just kid act, when he kids... It's just people. Tall people don't live that long. I don't know if you know. That's not true. Yes, it fucking yeah. is true, dog. That's what true. are you talking about? It's not true. What about true. basketball players? Is it? Some of them live pretty oh, long. Anything over seven over feet tall, seven you're not supposed to live for like longer than like 60 years. Anything over that, you're like, like a phenom, dude. I'm being serious. Like, dude... You get the same amount of blood. You get the same amount of everything. Where are you putting all this that's blood true. at? That's why fucking side dick has to... That's what... Fat people's dick never really gets hard. They have to fucking... Circle, like, side dick always talks about how he makes... He makes chicks lay on his on his leg. So, like, the blood stops going to his leg and goes to his dick. What? Like, when he's like when you don't have blue chew, he just tells a bitch to lay on his leg and he just makes the blood go there. I don't know. I'm, I, don't know if this, I don't know if this is making this up, but... What, what is he, a go-gurt? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> a go like you know what I mean? Like he just fucking like squished like a tube, like toothpaste. Yeah, you gotta like you, you gotta figure out where you want your blood at. Would you rather have it at your bottom of your leg or at fucking making your dick hard? I don't know, man. That seems a bit extreme, man. Yeah, I, but I seen him get girls to do crazy stuff at the comedy store, at the bar, at the comedy store. So almost like a stranger, kind of knew Eddie a little bit, goes up to him and suck like. Puts his whole uh, uh, goatee or yeah. beard in in her mouth. Oh, I was there too, and now my beard, beard my beard, beard, my beard isn't as long as Eddie. And this bitch seen. wanted. You're right. I forgot about that. That's she just nasty. She bro. just went up to us and she's like, "You have a great beard. Can I just like put my whole mouth in it?" Oh, I would be pissed, dog. And, and, well, Eddie let her. Right? She didn't I'd like be just. Pissed. Ah. What am I gonna do? Like, here, bitch, stick this in. Yeah, mouth. she just went and, like kind of like, kind of like you know how you would you motorboat some titties. That's like what she did to side have you, have, you ever smelled your, have you ever smelled your beard? <laughs> I shower every day. I'm sure it smells great, dude. That's what, no, I'm saying at the end of the fucking day, I, like if you shower like at night, when you're done, you got to wash this motherfucker again, bro, because everything you've been around is aromas, smoke, resin. It's like, bro, I've even, I, found, I found a bunch of shit in my beard. That's good. Well, I call it a flavor saver. Like I'm like I, including little fucking crumbles of like uh, like like coke. I'm doing a bump. Like what the fuck? You've ever ate pussy and the next morning like oh yeah, for sure I ate a lot of pussy last night. I mean, you smell it. A little flavor saver, yeah. Yeah, I mean I don't for know. Tomorrow. I don't I don't I don't really like tasting my beard. You know I, I'm like I'm like hair. It's not you don't taste it. You kind of just like oh yeah. You just let it hang. I mean in the morning I I don't oh I well, after sex I go to sleep. Like I might take off the condom sometimes. I literally Damn, just really passed done? out. I literally, I'm fucking done. She not gonna brush my then, huh? teeth. Not gonna brush my teeth. So in the morning, I'm like, oh yeah, for sure, guys. You go. can't go to sleep, bro. Who's fucking who here? What do you mean I can't go to sleep? She has to go to sleep first, dog. No, she it's fucking doesn't. Who the fuck says, it's the fool? Road, dog. Nah, she gotta go shower. Was she gonna lay there with that shit in there? That's her can, problem. That's to, her problem. But you could go to sleep with the condom on. Mm -hmm. I was like, she's got a shower, but you could go to sleep with the I'm tired. I put in good work, dude. After a couple blue chews, I'm tired. I just gave you one. Tell me you ain't going to go to sleep just like that. I mean, you have to work that shit out. Huh? You have to work that shit out. <laughs> That's why, look, bro, when you're going to take blue chew, bro, you got to cut that shit in fours, bro. 
See, and you got a girl. You're not wearing condoms. That's not always true. Do you go wash your dick? Do you go shower every time you bone? What happened? Do you go shower every time you bone? Do you at least go wash your dick in the sink? Yeah, you have to wash your dick after you fucking sh- after you fuck, no, I'm bro. I'm too tired. I don't give a fuck. Especially if you have a turtleneck. <laughs> I'm not going to sleep for t- for coma. I'm gonna be up a couple hours. Bro, your dick's gonna smell weird. <laughs> and who's gonna suck it in the morning? Her again. Yeah. Why bro, the but- fuck do I care? Why, Why the fuck I, do I care? It's, just, it's not about ca- <laughs> it's not about catering. Like, she's like your dick look, smells. Well, I guess that's your pussy smells too, because this shit was in there yesterday. Not, so unless like it sounds like it might be your problem. It's not about catering. Like it's a fucking meal, bro. Like you're not a chef, bro. It's just hygiene. Well, I'm drunk. I'm high. It's been a long night, bro. After I fuck, it's pretty much like yeah, I'm just okay. Well, ex- there you go. <laughs> Xavier has dick cheese. <laughs> you know. That's disgusting, bro. That's like the that's like the idea of a, of a guy yeast infection. Well, I'm, dude. Okay, so you think I'm gross? I've also noted in chicks that literally don't even they just lay right next to me until the next morning. I'm like, okay, that bitch is nasty. You met him at the strip club, huh? Nah, definitely not. That's like really that's that's, that's gross. That's, I'm telling that's you, that's kind of gross. Hell yeah, because I'm even like, okay, I'm you definitely not no nope, no morning for sex for you, dude. You got to get the fuck out of my house. Like you like, like in you the couldn't go you shower. Up, you think she's still wet, but that's all nut. <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck out. You forgot. You forgot. You forget that she didn't Xavier shower. still goes down on her. Oh, oh, damn. Damn. That's, <laughs> That's why I said you got to go home. I just said you got to go home. Oh, dude. What, 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 if, what if the chicks that Eddie did that to me? I just done that. Oh. oh. And he fucking ate it like an oyster. Well, that happens at the... <laughs> sh- well, that- <laughs> well, that happens at the strip club all the time. These bitches don't shower. If you be, I, I've never boned at the strip club, but anybody that bones at the strip club, I'm like, that's disgusting. This bitch so just bones someone else, and she might have used a baby wipe to clean that off. That's nasty, man. When she might have used told, a poor local wife, dog. When you first told me, you're like, yeah, man, these, bitch, <laughs> these, bitch, these bitches be letting fucking uh, magic in. I was like, oh, hell no. <laughs> Yeah. Well, then, and then all I think about, anybody that bones at the strip club, I'm like, you're boning in the same place someone else bones. Someone else's ass she could right there, so... I hope Pedro locked the door, goddammit. No, I locked it. All right, cool. He already had left? Yeah, all for right, sure. Yeah. <laughs> if it's, I don't like staying here, bro. Fuck that. Yeah, we did. This, we gave you all this episode because we fucking <laughs> lagged it on Saturday. But let's uh, let's fucking get into the rest of these super chats. <laughs> we can continue with this. Uh, yeah, hit that fucking like button. Please. Yeah, and hit that fucking smash. like button. Come man. on, I know I made you smash, fuckers smash, laugh. Hit that smash, like button. These, I see everybody in the fucking chat room. I was like, I appreciate. I know y'all. They, they think yeah. That's two hundred and fourteen of y'all. I was like, everybody, go ahead and hit the thumbs up, man. I see y'all in here. Just hit that thumbs up. It helps us. You don't even have to contribute no money. It just helps us so we look good, so we can keep getting sponsors to keep talking. About the stupid shit that we do to keep making y'all laugh, but let's uh, let's get into the next super chat, right, please? Yeah, we got Melly F nine ninety nine. Love you guys. Hard eyes. Speaking of Wolverine, who's your favorite X Men and why? Love what you. mutant power would you have if you could choose? Love you right back. Um, let me see. A favorite X Men. My favorite one. That's a good question. Yeah, that's hard, man. Yeah. I like Wolverine the most, but I would prefer to have the Magneto power. Magneto's a beast. Everything's made out of I would be car. stealing yeah. cars all the time, bro. Yeah, you can't. You I'll don't fucking be stealing every single car, bro. Like, I'll fucking just take, open all the doors, go to the dealership at night, fucking rip the alarm. You know what I mean? Because it's all metal. It's all wiring. Just fucking strip the alarm, fucking hot wire the fucking thing, drive in there, get chased by the cops, take their car apart. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know what well, I mean? Well, because if you watch the movies, you see how hard it is to keep him contained. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, he's, they he's would a, never he's, catch yeah. you. Like, you, you have a helicopter chasing after you, crash that shit like a trash can. Yo, no, <laughs> but knowing that Professor X is stronger, you wouldn't have it because you don't want to be in a that's wheelchair. In a wheelchair <laughs> dog. That's what I just said. Does the wheelchair just fuck it up for you? You can't. No, even if he. What if I it, just never what, saw what, that what, fool what, fuck. What, 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 if, what if his dick works? <laughs> what, what if his dick works? You think, you think Professor X dick works? You think no. he's boning storms here and there? No, because he never like showed any interest in anybody. Like he never really like. He was asexual. He never wanted to bone anybody. Could have been the. He could, yeah, he could have been asexual. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Super chat. All right, this next super chat. Oh wait, no, hold on, Xavier. Oh yeah, yeah. Who the fuck would my I bad, be? My bad. I don't want to pick Wolverine. That's just too basic. Uh, who's the fucking guy with the eyes? He was Cyclops. dope. Cyclops. Cyclops was dope. Yeah, that fits you well. Yeah, 
I definitely no. I was Cyclops in our yeah. fucking show. Do you remember? Yeah, I still have. A I forgot about that. I I have one. Yo, by the way, we should give one out. I have an extra one. Yeah, I have one too. Yeah, hey, we should get that shit signed by everybody and see if we put it in a mystery box. That would be that would be dope. That'd be a dope one to have. I was even on that flyer. Yeah, you were the fuck. How were you on the flyer? You didn't even perform. I've been in the comedy game a long time. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of hours in. Craft. A lot of hours watching people do shit. Not once have you gone up, dude. The art and craft. I mean, could Professor X no, make himself uh, nut like without jacking off because he has that like fucking psychic power? Like, just come. <laughs> like, just... well, I mean, technically, that's why like monks don't fucking need to come because they can like envision themselves fucking someone. Really? I don't know. I made this shit up. That shit makes no sense. <laughs> <laughs> what's the what's the next one? What's the next one? We got Will? strike. No, hold on, hold on. Will, Will, Will was Will was. Uh, oh yeah, who's your favorite character? You gotta. No, no, they drew me as Gambit. Does uh, he have a Gambit the card guy. for the flyer? Yeah, and that's that was pretty cool. Oh yeah, because you play poker. Cards, and he's got some like beating stick or something. Right? Yeah, he, those cards light on fire. So that's cool with you. That's you going. I'm gonna go with that because I'm not really that. Fun. I never really got into comics. He's not a '90s baby, believe it or no. not. He's not in. No, no, no. Shut up. You're not. Because yeah. every time I talk to him, he doesn't like. He doesn't even know what Pokemon really is. Hates yeah. it pretty much. He yeah, hates I'm all that. Like the shit that we kind of like. He's not about it. Yeah. To be honest. Well, hey, you watch Hey Arnold? No, right after like Nintendo uh, one, I like stopped fucking with the new shit. Like after Super Mario Brothers, then there was Pokemons and like you know Barney. I didn't fuck with the Pokemon. 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 And he went to Barney. Yeah, Barney. You just put Pokemon Barney. and Barney in the same category. <laughs> those fools that did the fucking Barney episodes for sure probably did drugs at an early age. All those kids. Oh, yeah. On the show, yeah. Well, a lot of them are probably like, like little um Disney characters. That's how yeah. you start. You become a, like you, you start getting groomed. You gotta get groomed early, dude. Yeah. Early. It's just that's an true. early process. That's true. All right, so let's get into the next question. Striker P five bucks. Hear me out. Nike just got paved. Paid by a third party for every pair of shoes in the first place and now receive all the profits from all the 666 shoes. W. Damn. Damn. That's what Nike was like. All right. Next question. Ginga Jesus to Dala mystery boxes soon. Yes, they will be up there. I'm almost done updating everything. So you will see it posted up on the website. So please be calm. I'm working on the we don't smoke the same dog tags and a bunch of other stuff. So look look out for that soon. And there'll be a uh, tin foil hat T-shirts in there. So yeah. stay tuned with the mystery boxes. I like that noise. <laughs> All right, that's the one. best, dog. Huh? Jeffy, two bucks. Doug is on Disney Plus. Doug is on Disney Plus. That's what Jeffy says. I remember Doug Funny, dog. That shit was crazy. You like, thought it was a good show? I kind of yeah, didn't like good. it. I watched it because hey, you know how you're, you're little. There's nothing question. else. There's here's no question. question. Well, Skeeter was supposed to be the black guy, huh? Oh, of course. Yeah, He's the only sure. one that's not the, the other colors of everybody else. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, of course. They that just motherfucker didn't... was turquoise. Why didn't they make him black? No, because they couldn't make him black, dude. They had to make it seem like it's not nah, but racist. What about Mr. Dink? That fool was black, too. True. He was purple, though. Remember that shit? That one, what the fuck was up with that shit? All the, all the supposedly colored people were like purple and black. And then the Roger, remember that fool was like the highlighter green? Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Oh, Roger yeah, why, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he was like Danny Baladucci or something. He was a fucking douche. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was always messing with Doug. Yeah, that was... I, I didn't like that show. I liked that show. <laughs> It was a. It was supposed to uh, bring awareness about real life challenges in school. Xavier. Did you get mad at shows that were there after your favorite show for some reason at the same time? Like after? What do you mean? Yeah. Like I remember being mad at like Boys Meet. I hated Boy Boy Meets World because they whatever show. That show was tight. I know, but the thing is, like, they canceled my favorite show to put that show there. You didn't want to bone to Firefly? No, yeah, I did, but the, like oh. at the moment, I was like, scared that whatever show it was. I don't remember what show it was, but I just remember I was like. I can't watch this fucking show because that show got my show canceled. Damn. You know what I mean? Because yeah. there was times. There was times. There, was like, there wasn't like now where you can just go on Netflix and watch your show whenever the fuck you want. Yeah, there was times. And if there wasn't enough time, then your show got booted the fuck out. You know what would And I just remember off, being bro? pissed about it. You know what would piss me off? Huh? When I would fucking go home, finish all my homework and all this shit, and I would be looking forward to The Simpsons at 730. It's not there. And it's the World it's something. Series. Exactly. Oh, my God. God. I hated I hated that. That. I hated that. Fuck football. Fuck I used to get more. so pissed, dog. Say Patriots. 
Yeah, like I used to fucking get so pissed, or that you, or or some motherfucker in in a high speed chase. Like, I hope you die, you stupid bitch. Fuck you. Yeah. Yeah, you you you're like man. I or hope... or how confusing was it sometimes when it said seven Eastern and seven Pacific? Well, yeah. When I was a kid, dog, that was like that wait was a what? Confusing as, as shit. Mountain time. What's mountain time? When I was a little kid, I was like, what is that? Confusing what is as mountain fuck. Time? Yeah, I huh? still don't know what it's, mountain time is. It's like uh, Denver shit. They're just an hour ahead. Oh. Yeah, they're just a little bit of an uh, hour ahead, but they have a different time. But yeah, no. That shit would freak me the fuck out when I was a kid. Damn. People said, it's like, yeah, I had to watch the OJ trial instead yeah. of... <laughs> instead Damn. of this time. Yeah, man. That shit, was, uh, that, that shit was crazy. Did you see... Um, all right, next question before we get... JC's foot, Rob. Two bucks. <laughs> Ease on. What's your favorite cartoon? Damn, favorite cartoon. He's got, this, him, yeah. he's got them all blasted on his hand. Yeah, it's pick probably one. the combination of all, yeah. a lot of the, you know, Fox uh, type of cartoons like King of the Hill, The Simpsons, Family Guy. I like a lot of. I li- I okay, like... if you could collab one, what would you collab? That hasn't been collabed. Like we've seen a couple. We've seen collabs. There's something out of all your. If you could put everything, like, would you do a Doug, Hey Arnold type of shit? Like, what would you be like? That would be like, crazy from to a watch. Marketing point, well, like, no, for you, not a marketing <laughs> point, not money wise. Like, what would you be down and be like? That's that'd be dope. I'd like to be on Family Guy. No, oh, not not you, fool. Like, if you could combine something, like, I would want to do like the Shark Tales. I mean, uh, Street Sharks and the Ninja Turtles. Oh, like uh, an episode like that where they, they they fight each other, the turtles versus the sharks. Oh, like a crossover? Yeah, like a crossover, like a collab between one of your favorites. Fuck, they did it already with the Simpsons. Exactly, they've done, yeah, someone they haven't done. Yeah, um, that's kind of hard, man. Fuck, it, I don't know, man. It, that's that's really to put two of them. I would I would like for it to for it to blend together pretty good. Is know? there someone that didn't do a good job at it? Because you know when yeah, I, I like the 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 Rugrats and the Wild Thornberries. Oh, so they that didn't do a, good. That they, was a movie, and I saw it when I was a kid. I was like, "What the fuck is this? This makes oh. no sense." See, that would have been see. Okay, yeah, yeah. that would have yeah. been actually. Okay, I forgot that was actually a real collab. Yeah, that was a movie. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, it would probably be <clears throat> like Pokemon and Digimon, maybe or something like that. Like a quick, like something like, that has to do. They could like a broken universe. Universe where yeah. they go in there just for one episode. I'm not talking like a yeah. whole season. Just a crazy. The upcoming like, Spider-Man movie is gonna be like that. Yeah. Oh, with the whole Marvel bullshit? Crossover Spider-Man. Or like Rick and Morty and Family Guy? Yeah. Yeah. I think some Rick and Morty and South Park. Yeah. Re- yes. That would be dope. Where South, somehow Rick and Morty and Cartman are like homies or some shit like that. Yeah. Or they bring Cartman to their universe. And Cartman like is the, you know, can't respect my authority. Yeah, man. I don't, I don't know. What would you? That's what you want? Rick and Morty and South nah, Park? Nah, I want Street Sharks and fucking Ninja Turtles, dog. Street Sharks and the Rotten Tomatoes? <laughs> Attack of the Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> this Xavier, because he's like he's got to represent for all the field workers. We have to, dog. I mean, we we didn't have one of those when we. Were, I didn't have a superhero. That'd be like the ultimate fucking comic book. Like if you give that out, like a Faisal Field Attack of the Rotten Tomatoes for the Killer Tomatoes. <laughs> Remember that fucking show, Ray? It was an animation show. <coughs> I don't. Oh, yeah, that was I don't think game. I remember, dude. Yeah. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes? Yeah, I remember that. And then they had Toe Jam and Earl. What? There was like a video game for Sega Genesis called Toe Jam and Earl. What the fuck? That, what is this game about? Attack of Tomatoes. It was like a lot of fucking tomato stuff going on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a... It says uh, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. It used to be on Fox. What, 92 or something? Yeah. Yeah, I was two years old. Did you like Adult Swim? Yeah, I got into it kind of late, though. Hey, what did you say? Toe Jam and what? Toe Jam and Earl was a... I don't know. I'm just saying. It's like another game with tomatoes. And then... Uh, they're not tomatoes, dude. They're slugs. Or, I don't know. What the fuck? They're like Spongebob. Yeah, they're like... They're... <laughs> it sounds the same. It just sounds the same when I was yeah, little. Yeah, this is like not... This, they're not tomatoes, dude. Okay, they're not? Okay. <laughs> For the other day, I know you've... I know as a stoner, you lived this. I was kicking it with one of my homies, like a paisa, paisa, paisa. And we picked up a sack. He says verga? No, no. No, he's not from Sonora or Sinaloa. But we picked up a sack. And and we didn't have no blunts or nothing to roll. So he was we were going to pack some bowls. And I had him over my piece, dog. Have you ever met someone that doesn't know how to roll? I mean, pack a bowl, dog. Like, doesn't know how to pack a bowl. This paisa literally just, just grabbed put the, the nug. nug. In there? Yeah, yeah, just put the nug in there. Didn't even That's ask. What, didn't even shit. ask the shit that was in there, dog. Literally just packed it on top and expected just to light it like that. 
And I, I mean, I've, have you met people like that where it's like, what's dog, going on? The way homie? I deal with situations like that, <laughs> I have to really deal with it very nice. I usually have a little stash of like pre rolls that I really don't give a fuck about or I won't smoke, and I will give it to those persons and let them start training their own way. I've been like, here, bro. If I see that you can handle this very fucking, you know, observing you, if you can handle this like an adult without a bib. You but know, this guy's a kind of a stoner. This guy's a stoner. Like, he picks up. He just, I don't think he knows what, like, grinding it is and what's the purpose of it. He's a he paisa, dog. He, he doesn't. He doesn't have smoker etiquette. Yeah, I was really upset. And I, had, I gave him not no fire. I, I'm See, not talking, to... like, super anything crazy. I just gave him some some good shit. And this fool literally just grabbed it. He la puso allá adentro. And I looked at him. I was like, you're not going to even at least. You had to, you have to teach him. Yeah, and I, had a, and I had a grinder and everything in my little bag. You know how we all carry, like, a little stash, little yeah. bags? I had everything he needed, dog. Didn't even ask you, just t- put it on top of there. Like, I was like, and I was like, sit there, I sat there, and I kind of like, I was like, that's her whole bowl, dog. I'm gonna wait till I get my bowl, and we're just gonna do snappers. I do my bowl, you do your bowl. But I was like, how do you deal with them? So you just give them like weak ass pre rolls? Yeah. Yeah. Not weak ass pre rolls, just pre rolls that I wouldn't smoke. Yeah. Yeah. Remember, uh, what is it? Keeping up with the PJs? Little the blacks, the, the black foods on Fox? Nah. Living with the PJs or something like that? No. Remember? Pull that up. I got to see that. No, I'm going to tell you one show right now. Oh, my God. I, I can't remember. Remember the fucking, uh, I never watched, remember, but the only reason I knew about Fat Albert because of FUBU. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> what, what is it? Uh, What's the next one? All right. Jeffy, two bucks. Smash or pass on a little person. <laughs> Damn, dude. There's different questions to that. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's different questions. Are they Do they look like? The Hunchback of Notre Dame, or they're a fine little, little one? You know what I'm talking about? You seen those fine little, little ones on Instagram? Fine little, little ones? Yeah. <laughs> like, like they're they're proportionate? Bite size? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. Not like the ones that work at fucking side dick strip club. Really, I, I'm not saying I would. I'm not saying I would, but there's different. You've, you've seen one that I know they're, what you're they're talking different. About, yeah. yeah. Depends. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna, I, would do it, I might do it for the story, just to let you know how it is, just to talk about it for here and make you his own laugh. You wouldn't do it for a story if you were single five years ago? Nah. He, he's fucking he's on in Vegas? He's on? Nah, I wouldn't nah. do it. Nah. It would just be like fucking weird, bro. What if she was a, what if she was a high and hungry fan, dog? That's cool. She could, nah. We, we, could go, we could go get something to eat, but I ain't about to bow the little person that's like, no disrespect. I'm not saying real little. little. I'm not saying real little. Like, four nine. That's considered a midget. You wouldn't, you, you wouldn't do a four nine? How that's tall, not that how, short, dog. How tall is four nine? I I've dated a girl... Five two, five one, so a couple inches shorter. I'm uh, tall. I'm pretty tall. So how like, tall are you, Ray? Five three. All right, and how tall? So that's like take another f- five inches from that. Cute little. No, you wouldn't. Tiny. That's pretty tiny. I think that's like the limit, bro. That's like where yeah. you got like where it's like you're barely a midget, <laughs> like or, or barely a little person. <laughs> <laughs> like that's like you know that's like really dating a short short person, but yeah, I don't know, man. Would you? You gotta like pick them nah. up sideways. Nah, yeah, it's, yeah. It, 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 see, it, see, it sounds like fun. <laughs> like a <laughs> pig. Anything, it sounds like a fun dog. Pick them up sideways, turn them. <laughs> you can pick them up after you're done like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're a fucking yeah, asshole. That's yeah. Fucking dick would look humongous, no matter what. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's for sure, dude. Damn. Yeah, bro. I can't. You like you uh, at TJ Showgirls in uh, Staten t- tonight. It's going down. George Perez stories. No, uh, well, George Perez's birthday and and Georgie's birthday. Check it out. But there, I saw a midget incident. What do you mean? The, the most traumatic midget incident. incident. How? Like, what? Somebody picked uh, her up? I'm not gonna name names, but a, a famous midget porn star, uh, with headline there, and th- that means that <laughs> means they're they're the they're like, everybody goes to see her off the internet with all these creepos or whatever. You're right there to, in the mix. To, I was right there, you know, George Perez, you know, supporting George and. and oh yeah, scene. supporting him, but you're there <laughs> to see the chick, huh? But yeah, yeah, and. uh she got super wasted off like whiskey, vodka, everything, all these types of liquor, and probably a bunch of pills, probably coke, and she could barely go up. She had the DJ play uh, Goo Goo Dolls, I- Iris or something. Yeah, it was like I don't yeah. want the world to see me. It was so <laughs> fucking dark. I left. I had to leave. 
It was like a show, and I had to leave. That's a fucked up song for like a midget to go up to, yeah, like a yeah, sad I was, midget. Yeah, I, was, I, was I don't want the cry. world to see me. Yeah, I was gonna, I was almost gonna cry. I mean, I've said this. Do you know what George does to me what? every time I go to the surf club? What? Like George's always kind of cool and like hooks me up with the with the lap dance just because he knows all the girls there. And he's like, and they, me lunch, eh? and, yeah, exactly. I'll bring him lunch. I've because uh, if George hits me up and says, "Hey, can you bring me lunch?" I don't even ask questions. Let's go because I know it. It didn't tell. Yeah, it entails, yeah, a, lap dance yeah, it entails a lap dance. So, but it always comes with the punishment. This one time I went, dog, and I go there. I brought him lunch. I brought him KFC, and I fucking show up, dog. And he's like, "I got you a lap dance. You ready, dog?" And I'm, I was like, "Fuck yeah, homie. Good looking out." And he's like, "Go over there." And I see her, dog. And I don't care, dog. She's a black girl, right? And I'm like, "All right, I'm cool with it." She got big booty, shit, and I'm all with it. And then he starts playing New Slaves by Kanye West, dog. Damn. And I'm there getting a lap dance by a, by a black chick, and I got and this was playing New Slaves, dog. I couldn't even enjoy it. She's laughing. She thinks it's funny too, cause she knows he he George that. is a comedian. Yeah. But it is not cool, dog. I'm sitting there like that. Made you not. uncomfortable? <laughs> oh, super uncomfortable, dog. <laughs> fucking yeah, that that that's a fucking. He's watching. He's like, yeah, go get a lap dance. I got you. Yeah, that's another thing. Is you know they can see that. What? George can see all the lap dances that go on. Damn, really? Yeah, dog. You know what? That, that Like, the manager can hey, see them. Like, they can hey, see them. That, like, they're recorded. They're on camera. People though? forget that. That means somebody... That, that, well, hold on. That fucks you up. Because, like, that means, like, every dirty shit you've done and you seen. thought you did it. It's been oh, seen, dog. It's been seen. What, you do, what, what have you done, Izzo? What are you thinking right now? You're like, fuck, dog. That one time at the body shop. It was the body shop. It was, it's always the body shop. It's after the comedy they store. They probably have that video of that chick that passed out, remember? That one that I told you that we went to the club and I and I got I went to the VIP and I was like, Oh yeah, I was like I, I was like, I want that one. So I went to go get the dance and like food, like she was I she looked already fucked up and food, she passed out. Like in the middle of the dance. Like like drunk? Like drunk like passed drunk, out or maybe some she, heroin? Nah, she had been she's like, I have been drinking every clear. Oh. Oh yeah, that's yeah. good night. And then yeah, and then she like she just passed out, and I was just like, I fucking was like put her to the side, and I went to the bouncer. I was like, look, man, I don't even want my money back or anything, but like this bitch just passed out. I didn't, you know, I was like, I didn't drug this bitch or nothing. I was like, she just like passed the fuck out. I was like, I don't know what the fuck she's on. Damn. How often does that happen, Will? Bitches be passing out at the strip club. Don't I've lie. I've actually seen it a bunch of times. But like in LA, some of the clubs are open till six six a.m. Oh, you be staying that late? And then, yeah, I'll be drunk. <laughs> yeah, four thirty, and then yeah, they're 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 drunk. There's rooms, some of them smoking rooms with blunts. And, what encourages and you to stuff. stay that late, dude? Will's a like night Batman. owl. I'm like Will's a night yeah, owl, dude. Batman. Will's Will's night owl, dude. Um, and then the comedy store is open at 2. Look, this is how it goes down. Yeah. It's 2 o'clock. You're at the comedy store. You're chilling. It's 2 o'clock. Then you're like, dude, we got to go get some food because we're hungry. you know. That so then you go to Cantor's. Up, yeah, then you go to Cantor's. And then all of a sudden it's 3 o'clock. And then you're like, none of us really got any jobs. So we're like, it was open right now. Let's go to the body shop. And next thing you know, it's 4 o'clock or 5.30 in the morning. And we're at the fucking body shop. And was, somehow someone's got to get home. He's one's been there. That shit is fucked up, bro. Like, remember, like, we would go there and we're like, oh, it's just 12. Fuck it. Call in and get another sack. <laughs> like, fool, remember? Like, it's 12, like, oh, nine. The last show's by the time probably get, going no, on, By the time it gets here, it's one o'clock. It's one o'clock. The store's closing, so we go to the back, thinking that that's going to buy us more time. No. Every, then, when we, when, then when it's time for us to leave there, everything's already closed. That makes you feel like a scumbag already. You know what I mean? You're like, man, you're over here making these people stay late. And then on top of, to top of, like, to top it off, you know you're not going to, you might as well go out because you're not going to go to sleep till like four. What's the latest you stayed at the comedy store? Because Roger spent the night there. Yeah, I know. I want to get you, him You've heard show. about that, right? Yeah, him. we should get him. Yeah, yeah. don't. He spent the night yeah. there, which is pretty fucking epic, dog. I would love, to, like, no, nah, I wouldn't want that to happen because I don't want to be embarrassing, you know? But if it happened, I'd be pretty epic. I'm like, dog, I was just too drunk. You know what type of shit? I would, like, I want to say, like, the latest I left the comedy store at like three. Yeah, three o'clock. It's like once the bartender's done closing her, sh- her, her, her stuff down, right? Yeah. Yeah, you gotta go out right after that. Yeah, straight up. Like once you see the homegirl that like who's up his drinks. Yeah, the homegirl with the blue hair. Yeah. She's amazing. I love her. Yeah. I, I hope she still works there. I hope. Yeah, me too. I hope yeah. when, if, when, how, whenever, soon, yeah, Carrie. probably. Huh? Carrie. Yeah, yeah. Carrie. Yeah. yeah. Homegirl, she's there. She's always blessed. That's us. Tugs. Number one Hugs in my existence 
Yeah, she does give you a nice hug, huh? And you go in and you go for hugs with all the bitches. I do. I, you know, no, 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 no. <laughs> she, she, she gives hugs. I think she has a son or something, but uh, she does massage or therapy. I don't carry her at the comic book. Anyway, sometimes at night, yeah, we'll be there late at night, and then she leaves at two thirty, and she hugs everybody. Yeah, and uh, she's just one of those people that like has that nice energy. Fucking great, great. Yeah. Person. What's up with your new candles, fool? Shit, dog! I just dropped this new fucking candle. Uh, what is it? I dropped this. Uh, what is it? Spring Haze Edition. Uh, Chili did Chili Millie. Uh, did the the design. Thank you. Uh, it's, it's like a Easter spring theme one, and it's only like six. What's the smell? Yeah. Like what? What is it like? It smells like. Uh, is it on the site, sir? It's on the site, but like not actual, not actual picture. Only the design right now because I have to go pick them up tomorrow. But the the pre sale went on there today, so they're gonna start shipping tomorrow. How many you making? Huh? And there are like 60 of them. The 60? It's, it's, it's just like, you know, it was supposed to be the Easter one, so. We do a spring one. Yeah, we do it a, we do it a little, excuse me. We doing a little fucking spring one, so. Yeah. There you go. But get that at flavorsbyezone.com. But let's get into the next question. Saldo Toro 999. Damn, Max, getting that stank put lava de la boca when you're done, maniac. Yeah, <laughs> for, for real, before brush your teeth, dog. Well, you know I do, but just no, like no, I just but said, after, I'm just after tired, dog. Pussy. It's three, four in the morning, dog. I'm, dude, I'm not gonna have. I don't know. I don't Stick know what y'all talking about. You think it's wet and it's like sticky and it's your cum, bro. That's nasty. Hmm? That's nasty. I'll tell you. All right, this money act shit, dog. Money act shit, dog. Next one. Okay, David Esco, five <coughs> bucks. Matt props, great combo. Whatever that means. Salute to him, man. Appreciate you. Talk about the DJ Will J times <laughs> XG combo. Shake and bake. You're on a scene. <laughs> yeah, the fucking old man's out there probably. I can't even see, bro. What do you want? What do you want? What do you have to see? Nah, I was just gonna go downstairs, but I can't even see oh. down the fucking stairs. Fucking asshole. I don't know. You got any more questions? Yeah. Jesus yeah, fucking Christ. Moment. Pulling up the chat as we speak. Let's go. Damn, so you're not going to show up tonight? No. Little gift package? Mm-hmm. Dude, do you think Tiger Woods is coming back or what, dog? What do you think? Who? Tiger Woods. Why, he fucked up already? You didn't see he got in a car accident? No. With oh, a, yeah, with I a saw what? That. Yeah, he got in a car accident. He's got like a, like a rod in his foot now. Wow. Really? Yes, fool. Damn. His wife fucking did that to him, bro. Well, I don't know about that, all that. Yeah, bro, his wife was, like, tired of you sleeping with whores. Yeah, he did sleep with a lot of whores. All right, we're back. Towers187299, shout out to Matt TV. Shout out to Matt TV? There you go. Yeah, Matt TV. Did you watch Matt TV? Yeah, for you didn't watch Matt TV? I watched Matt TV. I watched a couple of yeah. I liked what's his name, uh, Bobby coach. Lee. Huh? I watched the coach. The oh, black oh hot dog. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you like Bobby Lee? He's on. <coughs> Yeah, Bo- Bobby Lee, did you dedicate songs in high school to bitches? Were you that fool? I was. I did a Coco. Like, like, yeah, I, I, like, yeah. But, but not a lot. It wasn't like a often type of thing. You no, know? nah, I just, I would just be like, oh, this, this song's for you, and then I'd put it on my MySpace type shit, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it wasn't like a shot or nothing, but I was just like, oh, and then I'll change my song. I knew this fool. Oh, this is a la- no, I, This is when I started fi- figuring out, like, oh, that's a lame ass thing to do. I knew this fool. That actually paid that extra money to get the NB writers to make him his custom song for his girl. Can I get away with <laughs> you? I want to get lost. You yeah, remember that shit? Hell yeah, yeah, dog. I can tell you were so into fucking yeah. NB writers. Yeah. I know you were dedicating NB writers to bitches, dog. I wasn't into it, but you could, like, when you were burning CDs, that shit was tight, dog. Oh, yeah, it was dope. Yeah, That's what I'm saying. Yeah. This guy legit paid because you could pay the NB writers to make a custom one, and they would change, like, if your girl had blue eyes yeah. or if your girl was 5'3", they'd change it up for you. I knew someone that paid the dough for that. It was, like, 400 bucks back in the day, dude. And I thought that was a, such a hard With pimp flex. With the robotic flex. voice? Yeah, I thought that was such a... No, it, they would do it. Yeah, I know, but, like, they would use that robotic yeah, voice. But I thought it was such a hard pimp flex, dog. I was like, it's damn, something this was a about player. you, lady. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Take your hat off and sing that, though. I can't do it with that hat on like that. I know, man. 
Nah, man, no, so you didn't dedicate no songs? You weren't I did, that dude? Yeah, I did. Yeah? I did, yeah. did you make CDs? Did you make mixtapes for CDs, bitches? Yeah. yeah. Yeah? All right. See, I didn't do that shit. That was... I had a computer, dog. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, a computer help, dog. That's hard. Yeah, the, Those uh, were the good old days. Yeah, for real, dog. When fucking having internet was a privilege. Mm-hmm. You use like LimeWire or something. Oh, or dog. I would go. We would Napster. leave. We would, get, we would leave early from school to go to this one fool's house, Marvin's house. Oh my god! Yeah, and like this fool would have like his parents would buy him a lot of shit and everything, so we would just go to his house and download and burn CDs off his thing. But I remember that like fool, I just purposely would download all the porno in his line wire, yeah. bro. <laughs> You're and fucking I, dick, dog. <laughs> he gets the viruses. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He would get it, and it would be like, "You fucking asshole!" And then when I turn it on, it shows a bunch of gay porn pop ups. Just fucking just like just I would just download because his sister would go on a computer. And then, like, I, I would just be like, your sister's going to be like, Marvin. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, que es esto? I did a lot of bad shit in that fool's house, bro. Like, I remember one time, they wouldn't let me play Xbox. This was at a tournament. So I was pissed. So I was like, man, I'll just walk home. So before I left, I fucking got the whole block of mozzarella cheese, dog. Like, the whole block of mozzarella oh. cheese. And I put that shit in the microwave for, like, seven minutes and left, dog. <laughs> Like, for, like, yeah, dog. you do shit like that, dog. I've seen you grab people's bananas and just smash them, like, in between it. So when they open it, it's all mushy, like banana pudding. And it's <laughs> it's one of those punishments. It's like, why? It's all like, why? But you you get so much love knowing that you ruined someone's day when it's so fucking petty. It's like, literally, I've seen you grab people's bananas. Like, what are you doing? Like, I don't know, just ruining whoever fucking banana this is. That would break my heart. <laughs> That's just a bong breaking. You break someone's bong, dude. But, like, you know, you gotta come. It's fucked up, man. It's, like, fucked up, but you gotta do it. You gotta do it sometimes. You know? No, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> Fool, no, I, you remember, don't. I remember, like, the fuck... I found out about that was because... He said he, he was sitting in his, his, in his room playing Xbox after everybody had left and his mom starts cooking fucking dinner. <laughs> and she tries to use the microwave. She exploded. <laughs> no. And she sees, like... The fucking drip of all the cheese just started coming out. And she was like, Kenny, he's all his stuff. So, wait, 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 wait. Let me read. Let me read. So, these fools are in their room playing a fucking Nobody soccer tournament. It it took, I'm pretty sure. No, but they were playing a soccer tournament. And because they didn't let you play or whatever, yeah. you said, fuck these fools. You went in their fridge, I went, found I, cheese. I, ate, stuck I, it I made myself a meal first. I, I ate like two Hot Pockets. And I fucking, I drank some orange juice or whatever the fuck was in there. And then I was like, man, fucking bitches wanted me play. I looked for alcohol first. If I would have found alcohol, I would have like, I was checking the whole, everything, bro. I was in the, in the kitchen. You're fucking robbing these people's house. Low key, you're fucking. <laughs> like, because everybody was busy playing. Yeah, I, I know. I know what yeah. you mean, but you're over there fucking just being an asshole. And so I'm opening it. So I made me some food. And then, uh, you know, I drank something from the fridge, and then I was like, man, I was like, that fool said it's going to take like at least a, like an hour and a half for them to finish the tournament. It's like, fuck this, man. I'm going to just go home. So I just saw the big mozzarella block, bro. It was, it was I know what you're talking about, the it big was, block that, you, yeah. that, that, that your mom <laughs> yeah. grabs there and she, she, she it shreds it for quesadillas. It was sealed. And me, d- being considerate but still an asshole, I just grabbed the knife <laughs> and slid a hole so I, it had somewhere to drip because otherwise it was going to explode. That, that's what I, I would have yeah, Might yeah. as well go, go Yeah Might as well fucking go nah, deep Nah because then I was like I was like his grandma lives there <laughs> like, I, was, I was like that's fucked up So what is it Cause the, he still had a PS4 And you didn't huh boy? Uh-huh. Or something You are like this fool still got a PS4 And I don't huh Nah it was just about The not letting me play And then I just remember Like he called me He was like He was like You didn't know I had I had done it He was like Did you do it Be honest bro I won't get mad I was like nah bro I, Fucking I, I, easy I, I was like I laughed dude I was like, uh, there sorry, was, Marvin. He had three people that he that he thought, and it was. That, like, does he like, know that? Like, dude? What she's there, there was this kid named Luis that he he ended up having the fucking blame. He was like, man, I know it was him. It's because he lost in tournament. <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I was like, dude, I don't know, man. I left, man, because I wasn't, you know, I had homework to do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. I was. I just remember leaving. No, then I found out I left the dirty plates and everything. It was fucked up. I did a yeah. bunch of fucked up shit. I put uh, chicken. In the remote control uh, spot in my friend. Wait up, wait up, wait up, wait up. Okay, you, what, you put chicken where? Like for my best friend's birthday party. He. Like, oh, your best friend? Yeah. You fucking asshole. We're still best friends to this day, bro. Like, uh, I remember his dad would let him kind of do whatever it wants because they just worked all the time. And he had like a birthday party one time and he invited he invited us. And, I, and me and him, would, we, we're the same way. We get joy off of this shit. Like, bro, like, we, like, like I knew we were like... 
we fucking click when we fucking would do bad shit together in school. Like, we used to be on the third floor, and they used to make us sit by the windows because we were troublemakers, or, like, we wouldn't stop playing. So we they were right there next to these files. So one day, the teacher got mad at us, bro, and, like, we the window was open. It was hot. So he would pat, he would be right there. He'd pass me the files that were right there in all these baskets, throwing them out the window, bro. This nigga, bro, just... Damn. Just, just folders of people's work, bro. Like <laughs> people's fucking work, bro. Like who's this? What is this? Solomar's fucking file out the window. <laughs> yeah. I was like, who's this? Karen Rivas. Fuck you, Karen Rivas, bro. It would be fucked up because I I would like we would throw this and I remember that we got well we got caught bro like cause we thought we had got away and it was just like we would laugh about it every day like in class just like oh yeah. bro it's so hilarious <laughs> and I just remember one day that like some some stupid ass bitch fucking walks in <laughs> yeah some stupid ass drama fucking student bitch walks in with the files like like Miss Beck are these yours <laughs> and, and it's like a big fucking pile of papers that we had thrown out the window bro well that's just that reminds me of like what I would do I used to I was a TA for this one class because I used to have Avid and they make you be like a TA because so you can yeah. like be a, a a role model bullshit and I was a TA in this class dog and like you said People would turn in like I'd get thirty papers I had a grade, and every yeah. every one I'd be like, "You didn't do it," <laughs> 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 and I would just throw it away, dog, for no reason. Like this person did the homework, I'd be like, "You didn't do it," and I wouldn't pick no one, dog. It wasn't like anybody was just like, "Not you today." You know how your teacher always loses your paper, <laughs> and they lost up. it today, dude. The niggas probably <laughs> failed because you fucking you just wanted to be like, "I have this power." Yeah, that's all it was. It's because I had power. You didn't do it. That's it, dude. I just didn't grade yours. Like, you didn't turn it in. Did you, I remember they'd be like, we turned it in. I was like, oh, I don't know, dude. It's not in here. <coughs> dude, it was bad, man. Like, we would, we would just do stupid shit like that. Just destructive shit, bro. Like, like when that back to the chicken thing. It was his, <laughs> it was his birthday party. And, <laughs> like, I, I don't know what, it, what made me do it. <laughs> like, I remember I remember exactly what I did. And I don't know why I did this, but I, because I knew he wasn't going to get mad. He thought it was funny. So, like, everybody was playing in his room, and I was sitting on the bed, you know what I mean? Like, because these fools had the chairs in front of the TV, so there was a bunch of chips, and I grabbed a bunch of the, like, lemon lays, and I fucking put it, I spread them out under the pillow. <laughs> like, like, you know how, like, if the, somebody makes their bed, like, under the pillow, so I spread I spread them out under the pillow, and then I fucking put the pillow back on top. So, like, when it was, when it was time for him to go to sleep, he was going to be like, who the fuck put these chips here? So no. it didn't fucking stop there. <laughs> fucking uh, when I when I remember he had like catered by by um he he had that shit catered by some Chinese restaurant, and I fucking had a bunch of orange chicken, bro. And I went to like three rooms and I took the batteries out of the fucking controllers, bro, like double A batteries, and put a piece of orange chicken in there <laughs> <laughs> and fucking put the cat back on, bro. No, dog, yeah. you mention that. Yeah. Well, I remember being a little kid and just. Walk into the grocery store, and if we went through like the chip aisle, I would just grab bags of chip and just crunch, and crunch them up them? for no reason. Dog. I would just, do that with just, chocolate, yeah, bro. Yeah, just like fuck whoever buys this, like, you're, not, you're getting the fucked up bag. Like there was no more Reese's cups <laughs> that were like looking normal once I got to that aisle, bro. Yeah, shit, like for no reason. Like, why are you doing that? <laughs> maldades, what are maldades? Like, I were bored. Like now, now these kids have a phone. They have something to do. They're not. They're like, what do I'm doing? Like, no kids just crushing out a bag of Cheetos because they're busy on their fucking Instagram <laughs> that, or I playing Call. That's, duty that same day for like i remember i think the last thing i fucking did <coughs> it was fucked up it was fucked up because you know when they're having like a party the buckets of ice with uh drinks in there yeah yeah <laughs> i went in there and I, I made sure i grabbed all the sodas i wanted two or three of them and i took them back to the room and i went over there and i pretended like i was looking for soda and i was opening every can in the fucking bucket, bro. <laughs> and they would spit out. <laughs> so the fucking water turned like Coca-Cola cutter. <laughs> You're such a fucking asshole. Was there beer there? There was like Bud Light, oh. Pepsi's, Shasta's, fucking orange sodas. So like, th- like you couldn't tell right away because they were floating. So once you open it, 
you know what I mean? Like, once you start looking for something, it got more and more sticky. And I just remember I walked away, and there was somebody else that grabbed it. But I remember, like, I did it to all the ones in the bottom. I left, like, three that were, like, unopened yeah. on the top. <laughs> but then when people were like, eso está abierta. <laughs> <laughs> like, they were like, eso está bien. Well, that's like, that's like when you play, what's that game called? King's Cup, like a mixture of King's Cup, dog. It's like someone's drinking that shit, dog. Just a mixture of Bud Light, Mastacates, a fucking orange juice. All the fucking sodas got wasted, bro. Like that. Now you're a fucking asshole. That fool's dad was pissed, dog. Well, those are like, you know when they talk about kids with silver teeth? That shit kids <laughs> with silver teeth, dude, dog. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that's fucking. Was... You're straight up an Edgar. That's an Edgar move right there. Fucking opening cans at a party. <laughs> yeah, bro. All of them just. I remember doing it, and I was looking out like, it... and like the tias and all their mom were like right there from like where the drape is at. So like I had to make it look like, oh yeah, no encuentro esta soda. You know, <laughs> like I went back and sat down. I had like three cherry black shastas, <laughs> and I was like, hell yeah, I'm good. Ah, oh, you know something my dad does that's like fucked up. What? He'll get like a, I'll be chilling with them, and he's done it multiple times where it's fucking hilarious. I'll be chilling with them, and he'll just get a phone call from like un tío, una tía, or just a friend, and they'll Does be like, you know them? Yeah, yeah, of course. And he's just talking to them for a cool minute, and then they'll be like, hey, have you heard of um, <coughs> Don Francisco? And my dad be like, oh, that fool died. <coughs> what? Random ass fool, dog. It's like if you called me, let's say you haven't called me like, like in a year, and you call me, right? And you're like, hey, dude, how's Will's doing? I'm like, you haven't heard? He died. But Fuck. this is before Instagram and shit. We're like, then my aunt would go tell everybody and be like, no te enteras that so and so died? That's fucked And it's up. just a maldad that my, it's for no reason. Then next thing next, you know, that person gets a phone call and be like, dude, I heard you died. More Damn. <laughs> That's fucked up. That's a real life rumor, dog. That was, but yeah, but now it's like, well, now you can go to Instagram and just text that person and be like, yo, what's up, you dead? Like, you have an Instagram. You, you would know. You know how they people die now? <laughs> you know how people die now, too? It's all over your Instagram. Yeah, someone will sit there and post something, or or your or your, or your newest picture has like a it's million only, down, a million it's the comments. The only way I'm gonna get verified, dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it was, it was you fucking uh, die. Hey, do we have uh, any more super chats? Yes, we do. Let's fucking... go through them. I mean, I, I get off track, man, because these fucking stories. JC's foot rub, two dollars. Ease on. What's your favorite Pokemon? Uh, Charmander. I have it on my hand, and then probably Squirtle. I like the Kanto League, uh, the OG ones. Maybe that's like how old heads describe they're into like nineties rap. Mm, yeah. That's I like those nineties. I mean those early ninety Pokemon. I'm gonna open cards tonight. My live maybe at ten thirty. Nice, nice. I haven't done it in like four days, and I have a bunch of shit that won't open. I like tuning in on Instagram to E Zone's uh, Instagram at ten thirty or whatever. He opens the packs, <laughs> and I pray. I pray. <laughs> Pray almost nightly, especially Sundays. Especially Sundays, I pray for E Zone. He be reciting uh, it, dude. And his luck. And I say, in el nombre de Padre, y del hijo, y del Espíritu Santo. Amen. E Zone plays the special Spanish music. And I hope for the, the Charizard, the. The best. Yeah, the the, the Charizard. Do you pray the, for me? The BBW Charizard. Do you, you pray for me? You haven't got cards. You, you don't pray for... You can pray for other things. You just got to pray for cards. See, it makes a spiritual experience when you come to my fucking yeah, card yeah, opening. He, opened, he plays the Jesus <laughs> I don't music. Just, I don't just tell you I love you, bro. I make you feel it. Yeah, he's got the <laughs> seventh century chimes. And stuff. sounded really sus, dog. <laughs> make you feel the spirit, bro. That's how you... Join that's us, how brother. You the, <laughs> that's how you summons the fucking Pokemon. I don't... <laughs> Yeah, join us, hermano. Yeah, but you, don't, you don't know what's in the Pokemon card until you open it. So there's some of that magic, you know? Yeah. Very much like you, life, bro. You don't like know what it is. Your eyes, if your eyes see black Charizards, you might get one, dude. Yeah. But I think you're getting a lot of reverse rainbow shits. I know. I've been getting a lot of those, bro. But tonight's going to change, bro. I got the champion's path, and I'm going to hit big, bro. I'm going to fucking hit big. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> Tune in. Uncle Lemur, twenty five dollars. Hey, damn. Ezone, where can we pick up your rosin? Uh, you can pick up my rosin by hitting me up, uh, you, by hitting me up on uh, the DM or something like that. Or you can go ahead and uh, you know, see what event I'm gonna be at. Sometimes I do pop ups, and you can check it out there. But uh, just uh, inquire at the DM. This is a two parter. 
Pinky and the Brain versus Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> Pinky and the Brain is pretty epic. <laughs> I think that um, I like Beavis and Butthead, but there wasn't really like any context to a lot of the episodes. Yeah, yeah. too many episodes. Yeah, they were just like music videos. I like the yeah, the movie is kind of more like I would if, it, if the episodes were like that, I would be more into it. But I'm gonna go with Pinky and the Brain. Pinky and the Brain were dope. What about Trying you? To take over the world. Animaniacs, that was a good show too. Yeah, Animaniacs were good. Uh, next question. JC's foot rub, five dollar, and it's in the fucking emoji. Five dollar holla. Thank Put you. Screen capture right here, dog. Five dollar. Oh, Thank that's that bitch you. ass peach. That says foot rub. Bitch that. ass peach. Have you got a? That's like, that's like a FJ. Have you been to a massage parlor? Hmm? Have you been to a massage parlor like the Asian ones? No. No, you you're not like that red, like red band type shit. Like where you go get an actual massage? Nah, I've no. No, but where where it was sus, where there might have been a, a a happy ending. Not that you asked nah, for it, but not go, that you asked for it, but you could feel like they're kind of telling you like, hey, there's nah, more to this. I've only been to like what is this shit like some New Zealand shit. You know what I mean? Like where they like to have like New Zealand method and it's like very deep tissue and that shit hurt, dog. My God, that shit fucking hurt, bro. Like, like, I, like good, like hurt, good or hurt I mean, like was, bad. Like you're a, not redoing that shit. It was a shit? bit too much. Where like, I wouldn't go deep tissue like that. You know, I had to like work my way in because I'm like, fool. I know I'm stressed, but like when they're trying to get that shit out, fool, like that shit hurts. How'd you feel the next day? Good. I felt a little better, but like, like, it, like the it wasn't like a pleasant experience. Like you know how fools are like, ah, yeah, feels great. Nah, shit it was hurt. Like, ah, like yeah. the way when you fucking like, like, the ah. way Godfather <laughs> yeah, got it was you. Like that, yeah. <laughs> 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 it was like that, bro. Hell yeah. Damn. Yeah, see, I've never... Nah. Yeah, fool, that, that, like, if they did that, what they did to me, to you, that you'll get bruised up. You're, like, skinnier than me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure, because, like, that shit was crazy. It hurt, like, a lot, bro. Maybe you're not that stressed. Nah, no, no. Nah. What's the next one? That's it. That's it. That's the next one? All right, damn. We are it. Salute to everybody that has, uh, what is it, Um, <coughs> joined us in the Super Chat. Salute to everybody that uh, has contributed contributed in the Super Chat. If you have any more questions, comments, or just anything you want to bring up, or questions, uh, you know, remarks about the show, Can you want us to talk about something, yet? fucking go ahead and, uh, you know, enter the Super Chat. I appreciate all you motherfuckers to do it. Uh, yeah, we'll talk about the sponsors in a bit. we we'll. hot girls. <laughs> <laughs> you want to see Zizi? Who wants to see Zizi? <laughs> do you actually go to Zizi? <clears throat> I go everywhere at all times to see hot girls. Damn, that's 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 his vice. <laughs> no, right no, there. dude. Will has like multiple accounts on like OnlyFans. Only to Will, OnlyFans is old, huh? Will has like other. He's accounts. like I've been getting pussy pictures yeah, before old. that. Yeah, yeah, bro. Like Will has girls call him in on his phone. Oh yeah, you still get those calls? Or like, hey, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah. Will gets one of those once a week, don't, right, Will? No, I changed my number since then, but I was getting those calls for a while. Oh, those those were those it were sure great, dude. Me up, dude. Those were those yeah. those those were great. I'd be driving with them to the comedy store. We'd be driving to the studio or whatever, and we're yeah. driving, and all of a sudden he's like, "Shh, shh my my girlfriend's calling." He's joking around, but it's fucking funny because I'm like, "What are you talking about?" Well, and then he puts it on the speaker, and some girl will be like, "Hey, baby, how you doing?" It's a uh, it's right before Valentine's, and it's just some random ass robot chick you could tell. Damn, for real? Yeah. And I'm Sometimes like, it's a real chick, though. So, yeah, so very rarely. And I, and I asked him, I was like, what is up with this? Boy? He's like, it's some service. He's like, I just won't cancel it. I've been trying to cancel it. But you know how hard it is to they make you to cancel shit? Yeah, right? Yeah. He full had to change his number instead. Is that, is that the worst that's happened to you from those calls? No, I just block them. They're on the iPhone, you can just right click it and block it. Block. Yeah. Pretty nice. Never called those? You never called like a hotline? I remember that when I was younger, I would call up just to listen to the like, first message. Be like, you call 1-800-NICE-ASS. And what, you'd get tur- <laughs> and, and, and that'd give you hard enough to go handle or what? What are you calling that no, for? No, that was when you were just curious, you know what I mean? Like, you didn't know what it was. You're like, oh, okay, oh, yeah, what yeah. the fuck? And then you're just like, and then you try to, t- you try to like, Ooh. try to call random 1-800 numbers. Homie, I, I started collecting, collecting the little fucking pass out, the little handouts out in Vegas. Why would you collect those? That's well, because I'm a fucking maniac, dog. I'd give them to him, and I would always grab them. And then I remember yeah. at one point I was like, I have a stack of these, and I was like, this is. I treated them like That's Pokemon dope, cards, yeah. dog. <laughs> like you Pokemon them, cards yeah, to I me. I collect the girl cards as, as much, like you know, the characters you ever seen, uh, Cammy. 
from Street Fighter? But what do you think of her? Cammy. Cammy. Or what about Morgan? Cammy. Oh, Morgan? Morgan with the big tits? Yeah, Morgan. Yeah, Morgan, Morgan with, with the green, green hair. hair. Yeah. Yeah, she's hot. Oh, she's from Street Fighter? Hot. She has some big oh, ass yeah. tits. Yeah. Fake, fake. Yeah. Uh, you know, animals. those are like implants, you know, for sure. You know who's hot too? The Tomb Raider, the video game. Oh, yeah. yeah she was all yeah. blocky, though. And, like, it's it's fine. Dude, hot. okay, well, now it looks blocky, yeah. but when you were a kid, you're like, okay, she's kind of hot, even yeah. in the fucking game. You're like, is there a part where she takes her shirt off? <laughs> <laughs> trying to find the right cheat code. <laughs> trying like, to find the right cheat code. <laughs> for real, like dog. You know how excited game, you yeah. got when, like, you could, when you realized that you could pick up a hooker on GTA? You felt like that was you, wait, dog. Wait up, did you do the whole, did you actually do the whole, the whole game? Where you get to fuck her? Like, if you got to keep taking her on dates, and you actually get to fuck GTA? her. GTA? Yeah. No, there San Andreas. Is, San Andreas, yeah. yeah. Where yeah. you have a girlfriend. No, but before that, on GTA 3. Oh, you were shake? Yeah. You, oh, yeah, you, you take him to the hook, and you then take him to the alley? You would move the right controller so you can okay, get the, yeah, 3D, yeah. the 3D view, and then you see the girl on top of him? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. <clears throat> I remember that shit. And then right after, shook night time, bitch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dude, that was a fun <clears throat> game, the first Grand Theft Auto. That was My favorite crazy. one was Vice City. Hated City. that motherfucking Lance Vance. Oh, Vice City was dope Fuck though. Fuck you, Lance. Shot Vice City was hole. such a such, such a Scarface like theme. Yeah. The Miami Vice shit. It was all coke. Oh yeah. yeah. Did you ever play the Scarface game? Yeah, that shit that was, was crazy. Hard. Puerto Ricans. Yeah. You just fucking go in there and rob those fools. I remember in in uh, GTA, I would go into the strip club on certain days where I would just feel like doing bad shit in the game. Walk in there, fucking start tipping, and then just throw a Molotov and leave. <laughs> <laughs> It was just like, yo, bro. It's... Doc, did you did you have the codes memorized? Yeah, that was. Well, oh, I had crazy. some shit memorized, and then I'd go to my homie's house with the with the notepad for the ones I didn't have memorized, and I'd show them because I would write them down. You'd write them down in yeah. your in your cheat code book, and you know you'd write it down and be like, oh, cheat code. Well, that's crazy. You know what I would like doing on GTA? Huh? When I would fucking get somebody in the car. And then fucking drive fast by the ocean and jump out. And then the fucking the car right, will the go. The car go the, kill him. Yeah, the car will go into some the ocean. Fucking sh- some uh, fucking uh, Eminem shady shit. <laughs> fucking call me Stan yeah. shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they're over there just like. <laughs> you still shoot over the water. <laughs> Have you played the new one? Boy, it's Which so one? interactive. Which like one? It's- the newest one, whatever the fuck. Oh, you know what, dog? Room, you know what? I just up, I just upgraded my internet service. I'm gonna be listen, everybody. <clears throat> You'll be streaming. I'm not gonna be stream. Well, I might be streaming on Twitch, and I'm gonna be taking Pokemon Battle Fades because I'm back on my fucking Pikachu version. I haven't gotten on Sword and Shield. So anybody want to get that fade on Nintendo Switch? What's up? I got that shit. I'm on live now. I'm gonna start fucking going up there and uh, playing different games with y'all. I might buy a few more games at night. Might be doing an hour, but I'm gonna be definitely doing streaming. You know, when I'm not opening cards, so I'll post up my Nintendo shit because I got that shit hooked up now, dog. I'm out there, bro. I'm going to be a stick watch, dog. Motherfuckers. Like, your... What are you playing, like FIFA or you're going like to play shooting like games, shooting dog. games? I like shooting games. Like Call games. of Duty shit? Nah, like I don't like the Call of Duty when it's like, I hate that control, bro. You ever have oh, a light gun? Huh? So you're like first person. What, what, what's I the like light first gun? person shooter, but it's like I, when it's not too sensitive. You know you can change that, right? I know, but it's like it's. I just you know it's very. It's I. I will play those games, but I, I kind of like the. They're too competitive. I agree. I with like you. the it type of shooting games where like you could play like the Resident Evil, where there's like characters walking, like GTA style. I like those kind of games. Okay, I know what you mean. Yeah. What you say with the light gun? Yeah, the light gun, like for like you know home shit. Oh, <laughs> Somebody said I walked into that strip club with that fucking cock with the Molotov cocktail. This is for cheap times. <laughs> 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 that shit was fucked up. I got some coconuts for you monkeys. Uh, and I have Tommy up in here so he can sing. We should have Tommy on here. Don't that, let him sponsor the show, though. He always reminded me of that shark from Shark Tale with fucked up teeth, though. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Just, yeah. yeah. Full's funny, though. Full yeah, he sing. is funny. And he can sing, bro. He's got good stuff. I kind of do believe that... Um, Would that, you want that talent? I mean, if you're going to, I would, like, like, I would, I'm talking like, like, I would exercise it. If I had it, bro, I yeah. would exercise it. Yeah. I He's would try like to do something. He's got like a secret R&B album on SoundCloud with like 700 views. And he, he let me li- listen to it and he was singing it up. Real For real? Intimate Are you serious? Is real? He sound, he this is real. Like, you're not What's lying? the name of it? <clears throat> he sound like Casey what is it? Joe. He sound like Casey and Joe. What's the Joe. name of it, though? I don't remember. He just told me on his phone one time. He's like, check out this. We it's need like, this. It's like Jamaican Bob 44 or something. Are you sure he wasn't like coked out? He was like, listen to this. No, yeah. Was, he, he lies a lot, but this was definitely him. You know? Damn. He's got a good voice. He I'm, does. Some, he can draw. 
When he was little, he was, he was, he was but better. Yeah, when he was little, apparently he was the man. Yeah, he did a lot of things when he yeah. was little. Now he doesn't, doesn't do now shit. He's, now he's just he's tired out. Yeah, he, he, would, he can't even, he he can't even sponsor the show. He did too many things when he was little, bro. <laughs> 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 too many things when he was little. Yeah, he was like Macaulay Culkin. Yeah, too. bro. <laughs> I Damn, mean, boy, I low-key wanted to be Macaulay Culkin when I was a little kid. Like in Home Alone, I was nah, like, that fool's life is cool. That no, you didn't think it was Michael cool. Michael Jackson fucking Yeah, but you, don't, you know that him. now. You know that now. But when I was a little kid, I was like, imagine how cool it would be to be Macaulay Culkin. Everybody knows you. Like, that was the first famous person that I like was yeah. that, his same age. I'm like pretty much the same age. I was like, bro, that's kind of cool to be that little kid. I used to watch Home Alone all the time. Yeah. You didn't think it was cool? Yeah, I, I remember seeing Home Alone. That shit was fucking cool. Fucking epic, fun. dog. I, that's one of my favorite movies, dog. Yeah. I always wanted to set up traps like that. <laughs> I always yeah, really you did. did. You did. You, you fucking did. putting cheese in fucking <laughs> in fucking microwaves, bomb. dog. That's a little start right there. I mean, that's I did enjoy a lot of those things a bit too much because <laughs> I remember one time I thought senior prank because you know that thing was a thing. You want to know what I what? So I, I forgot who talked me out of this. I was gonna put baby oil on the stairs, fool. Yeah, it's not a good idea. <laughs> yeah, dog. No. It's not a good idea. I was though. gonna fucking just like go go early, pretend I'm jogging. <laughs> and I was, yeah, like, and just fucking go, just fucking dump a bunch of baby oil on the stairs, and then when the the school started, it, yeah, they were all just fucking eat yeah, shit. Yeah, but then I'm like, fool, what if like a teacher dies, he falls. Yeah, there's a lot of good old people. There. Vegetable time, and there's cameras, so they would have known. You would have got caught. Like at the end of the day, be for real, you would got caught. If someone really would have got hurt, you would got caught. Yeah, for sure. For like, sure. Someone would be like, Ezo never gives up this early. Why was he running? <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> now though, now though, yeah, that is true. Time you waking up now, huh? Cause you get those now two because, runs in. Yeah, I know you got like two runs in now. <clears throat> well, you know, it depends on what fucking day. But usually, I'm, I'm up at like seven. Like whenever I, I, you know, cause when I go to the park, it takes a little extra time. So I'll, sometimes I just run at home. I get fucking caught up with a bunch of shit. But yeah, that was a. Uh, I tried. To, I remember I tried to do that, and then my other one was like, I wanted to buy a bunch of chickens and just release them in the school. <laughs> yeah. But then I was like, man, that's a lot of money. And well, what, so what if people take them home? Because that show, you remember that show, right? Seeing your prank. Seeing your prank. Yeah, you yeah that I TV? remember that yeah. shit. And I remember the school telling us, like, don't try anything stupid. Like, we're literally going to suspend you and you won't be able to go, you won't go to grad night and you won't be able to walk. You could have still got a grad night, fool. You can't. What, how? You could have just fucking blended in. They you got the no for no way. They didn't have a list, bro. They had a list, no, they dog. Have a list, they bro. had a list, dog. Did you go to grad night? Yeah. Where was your grad night at? Disneyland? Oh that shit! Shit, was hard, no. that shit was hard, huh? That Hell yeah, that hard. shit was hard. You hit, you were hitting on bitches, huh? I was dancing all over the place, dog. I did not yeah, get on one ride. I didn't get on no ride. I was I got there. On rides, though. Oh no, nah, dog. To me, this is all fucking talk to other bitches from other schools, dog. It was no getting on no ride. It's gonna be the the that ride wait was gonna be three two three hours long anyways. So I might as well just walk around and they had like little little DJ booths and we just yeah. go and dance. And I, you know me, dog. I was alright. I, I remember. You know, I had Coke. I bought a Coke to Disneyland when I was like, when I was a kid. What? Well, yeah, at Grand Night, for sure had. Yep, for sure had Coke at Grand Night. Always got the shadiest shit, but your dad's the man. <laughs> your dad's the man. <laughs> oh, he said your dad got, got your. My dad, booth, did not, got my dad did not. My dad did not give me the blow in high school. Yeah, no, it was like a Kistawe. <laughs> my dad did not give me blow in high school. Definitely not. Where'd you get it then? What do you mean? Where'd I get it? What are you talking about? This is your dad's swag. Yeah, bro, your dad, he was burning like, my dad out over here. His fucking dad, he's like, he stopped by las morritas, way. Let's talk about bringing Coke to Disneyland like eight years hey, hey, you know what, though? One time I walked in there, like, they tripped on a vape cart that I threw in the trash can, but I walked in there with a whole eight ball. And <laughs> <laughs> they yeah. were questioning me about a cart. I wouldn't do nothing there now. They got ca- they got 3D. Yeah, no, e- camera, no, but even, e- even with those fucking, uh, the, the, the little, um, the scanner shit. The little fucking scanner things that uh, look it through your wallet. I yeah. was like, you could straight out see the whole sack. I had a whole eight ball in there, and I had just had it in my Where wallet. Where do you put that wallet at, though? They could see that goes even in your pocket? Huh? Yeah. They could see that in through your pocket, through your jeans? Yeah, like the TSA shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, they have that there. Now. Maybe I picked up a suspicious metal. How about in your phone? What do you mean? I mean, I have. I always put I, shit and in my case. Is a lot, I always put shit in my case. No, I know. Eight yeah, ball's too thick. Yeah, too thick. No, nah, that's so way I fucking, too thick. I put it like behind my ID. And Damn. then you can straight out see like a big fucking... They don't it's care, dog. Mine. It's not mine. Yeah. Yeah, they don't give a fuck. You... No, but they, they obviously tripped on the fucking vape. Yeah, car. because vape, because vape, they don't want anyone to see you smoking. You're not going to do coke in the middle of the fucking park. You're going to go in the bathroom and then you're going to buy more drinks. Yeah, that's true. 
Like, they just don't yeah. want to see you smoke. Like, that's the problem with Vegas. The, the problem where they didn't like... Nah, in Vegas, bro, like, you know what's crazy? If they suspect that of you going into the bathroom or you take it too long and you're not used to know how to do it fast... Fool, like they 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 fucking crack down on you, bro. No, That's no, the reason no. your hotel room is definitely for. no, definitely no, 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 but not as much. But what I'm trying to say is like they hate weed there. Like before yeah. it got legal, you get in <laughs> big trouble, it, yeah, because it makes you look lame and it makes the club smell and shit like that. But it's so easy to recognize, like at the club. Yeah, you know you're gonna get caught up. You smoked in the club? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Vegas? Yeah, that's pretty hard. Yeah, I know you would. That's why I asked you because we were at the, everywhere we go, you're trying to smoke, and I'm like, dude. Chill, fool. This is like kids here sometimes. I'm like, chill, fool. <laughs> that's, what they, that's what they said, the patches and pins. I know. I was like, chill, fool. Ezone's always like, don't trip, dude. We'll just go under the table. And I'm like, bro, we're not going under the table, dog. We're grown adults. <laughs> He's like, just, just one quick two little puffs and just put it out. But it was that time where it had been a while, you know? It was like, me and Ezone hadn't smoked in like at least six, seven hours. Our vape battery ran out. We were kind of fiending for a little bit. Yeah, that shit was it, it was. it went in some minute. We're just like, man, fuck it. All right, we got we had any more super chats? Yeah, from Will J four ninety nine. DJ Will J. What is it? Let me read it. Happy birthday to DJ AM and George Perez. Salute! Uh, happy happy birthday. birthday in March. Uh, my fellow DJ of mine, DJ AM, big inspiration. He passed away, but it's his birthday. DJ A Track too. But uh, also George Perez. And yeah, that, that's like the first Cali sh- real shit I seen was because of George <laughs> Perez. <laughs> Man, it, uh, Uncle Murder uh, donated $10. Thank you, Uncle salute Murder. Salute $10, dude. I want to read his comment under that. He said, we had two grams of Coke, an OZ of Colombian gold, and a Mercedes 450 SL convertible at a Lion County Country Safari. Wow. That's lit. That's yeah, that's like a, popping. That sounds like a dope time. Yeah. Um, is that was it the last one? So far. All right. Before, uh, you know, we come to the end of the hour, I want to go ahead and take this time to tell you and thank our sponsors that made it possible. I want to go ahead and tell you guys to follow and check out our sponsors because they are the ones that support the show. And he- supporting the show helps us keep going and bringing you dope content and conversations like this. And just the whole vibe while you smoke. Or don't smoke the same. So let me tell you right off the bat about Zizi. Zizi.com is a website that is a subscription-based service site, but it does not just give you a subscription to one thing. It is a multiple subscription oh. uh, gallery in one. It gives you a bunch of it gives you access to a bunch of artistic gallery galleries that have uh, girls next door type of chicks. Uh, you know, they pose in very erotic, nude, sexy pictures, and you can get a little preview on uh, Z- on Zizi on Instagram. You can go ahead and see the kind of chicks they have on there. And uh, each one of them has like a portfolio of different uh, pictures, you know, to your liking. So don't, you know, if you're tired of subscribing to just one person on Instagram or website, I mean, one person on OnlyFans and, uh, you know, subscription services like that, get away from the pussy that looks like it smells fishy and go ahead and join for ten ninety nine at Zizzy.com. Zizzy.com will hook you guys up. You know what I mean? And just let make sure you let them know we don't smoke the same scent, yeah. And uh, make sure you follow them on Instagram. <clears throat> I also want to take this time to tell you about our friends at Bud Vac Seal uh, Storage uh, Jars. You know, this is probably the best way to keep to keep your weed uh, the freshest, the dankest, uh, smell, smelling the best, preserving the terpenes, making sure uh, it stays sticky, and making sure you don't end up with some powdery ass shit when you grind it now. Bud Vac uh, sealing vacuum pump. I'm sorry. Say, let me say it one time. Bud Vac, <laughs> Bud Vac jars come with a pump that help you take all the air out of the jars. That way, you know, in case you're burping any weed, you can go ahead and air it out one step at a time. They come in personal size jars. You know what I mean? So if you're spending top dollar for, you know, the top of the nugs, make sure you go ahead and preserve them the right way with one of these jars. They're odorless. You know, they make sure, uh, you know, they're convenient. And I honestly think they're probably uh, the way to do it if you're going to travel, you know, maybe domestic, you know, or you're going to travel, you know, not international and you want to go ahead and take it to another state, you know, on a personal use. You can go ahead and, uh, you know, have some confidence in getting some Bud Vac and Bud Vac vacuum glass containers. So make sure you check them out. You could also put other stuff in there to preserve it. Follow them on Instagram. You know, make sure you guys check them out. Thank you so much to our sponsors. Thank you. Thank you so much to everybody that tuned in. 
uh, everybody who has, uh, you know, contributed in the super chat. I appreciate you guys. You know, salute to everybody. You know, you said we're going to have some new sponsors soon, right? Yep. There should yeah. be some new coming up. And if you're actually trying to sponsor the show, you got to hit me up. Yep, I got some. I got a few companies yep. to hit us up on, so. on the page. Make sure you guys follow the We Don't Smoke the Same podcast on Instagram as well too. <laughs> follow it. We Don't Smoke the Same podcast. Also, make sure you guys, uh, if you guys don't have the chance, the chance to you know watch us on YouTube, go to uh, you know the iTunes, uh, you know what is it, the iTunes uh, podcast, iTunes app. podcast, any podcast app. Just head over there, and when we hit two hundred motherfucking reviews we'll give a little nice mystery box i'll get shit signed by sam tripley so anybody swarm out there they're looking for something yeah we'll make it a workout it's only a couple more so just go hit the like we're gonna go slowly is that way you guys don't get all like oh i don't want to go review because these fools want a thousand and they have a hundred leave us a, leave us a rating review if you guys fuck with the show but if you don't get a chance to listen and you want to listen on the go go to your podcast app that comes automatically installed and in every single iphone or uh you know apple product spotify too spotify too and, it's, and hopefully very soon on Rockfin. Make sure you guys check us out. And, you know, like I said, leave that thumbs up. Listen to us on there. We update that shit, uh, you know, on a weekly basis. So salute to everybody that hooks us up on there. Yeah. Yeah, but I appreciate everybody. Let me see. Did we didn't get any more Super Chats. That's the last of them. Come in. Uncle Murder was the last one. I think so, dog. <coughs> All yep. right. There you go. All right. So let's go ahead and do the round of the tables. Uh, Ray, appreciate you holding it down today. Do we got any shout outs? Shout out to fucking Colton for fucking me up with that muffin. Oh, it's yeah, that, that muffin definitely took you on a ride today. But I fucking held it down, though. Yes, you did. I'm How much was it? How much were we talking? I think maybe like 400 mil- oh, milligrams. Oh, that's a good, that's a good, that's a It was that's fucking, pretty, yeah. it was intense, that's good. you can yeah. tell. Yeah. But, uh. Yeah, so follow me at Morning Shot Films on IG. Thanks, guys. <coughs> DJ Will. What's up? DJ Will J, all lowercase letters, no cap. Check me out on Instagram. That's at, that's the squirrel, squiggly letter that looks like an A, <laughs> at DJ Will J. Search for me there. I got a new album coming out. I've been working on beats on MPC beat machines. And yeah, just check it. Check me out and leave the fucking like, dude. Just press the like. Is it that hard? You press like 10 buttons. You search the, we don't smoke the same on YouTube. You press 30 buttons. Press the fucking one more button. There you go. You heard it here. Unreal. From, from DJ Will J. Thank you, Will. Um, Xavier, yeah. shout outs. Uh, thank you for everybody watching. Like you said, just hit the fucking like button. Uh, another thing, uh, we're going to be working on something. We're going to be going to Rockfin pretty soon. Like I'm already talking to the dudes. You guys get better start. Getting ready to maybe go over there. It's gonna be uncensored, probably. So we we'll be able to show like real <laughs> crazy shit that you guys yeah, will probably hear Yeah, we can actually for. replay videos. And yeah, replay like videos. Probably play music a little bit. And I mean, obviously not a whole song, but if you want to talk about a song, be like, yo, play that fucking guap song, and we'll be able to play it. So it'll be a little bit more different, a little bit, but it'll be worth the ten bucks. Trust me. And mystery box will be extra hard there too. So it'll be pretty much worth the money. And you know, <laughs> he's on. It's never shy with mystery boxes. Yeah, we'd be get, we'd be going yeah. extra hard for you guys on there just yeah. because we want to uh, ask you that everybody uh, switches to that platform. Perfect. And yeah, and see you guys Thursday. Yep, we'll be back fucking Thursday night. Uh, appreciate you guys. Make sure, like I said, leave us a rated review on the podcast uh, app. You know, we all got in blitz today. Uh, I'll make sure that everybody gets uh, gets your uh, packages on the way. Uh, salute to everybody that goes to flavorsbyezone dot com. Highandhungry.shop. Some of the candles have been restocked. Make sure you get your uh, spring haze edition candle. There's only 50 of them made. You have to get it on the website, so don't try to integrate it with any other orders. Uh, you got to go ahead and go to flavorsbyezone.com. Go watch the latest Not Spray Farm, uh, you know, High and Hungry episode. I miss it. Make sure you guys check it out. What up? I miss it. Oh, yeah, man. I, I definitely want to go back just to eat again. It's going to be going down for, uh, I guess, to next month. So make sure you guys, you can still get tickets. Knott's Berry Farm, Boysenberry Festival. If you want to get an inside look, just type in High and Hungry Knott's Berry Farm on YouTube and you can go ahead and see that episode. We did that for y'all. And make sure you leave a thumbs up on there like you're doing on this show as well, too. Make sure you guys follow me at E-Zone the Firm. We don't smoke the same podcast on uh, Instagram. And uh, let me see. I feel like I'm gonna. I feel like I'm fucking forgetting something. Candles, 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 yeah, candles. Candles, candles, candles. You forgetting. got, you got. We don't smoke the same candles herbs. What are you forgetting? Good. I got the candle myself. What are you forgetting? Yeah, I think that's. Yeah, th- you know what? Yeah, I think. I think that's it. I'll definitely see you guys uh, on Thursday. Peace out. <laughs>